Start. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Get ready. Welcome, for, everyone. Welcome, everyone. We are going live. We are about to go live. The tweet's out. I'm looking to retweet. We are tweet. live oh. now. Welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. We are here Hi. for the long-awaited day. We, these are these are the opening rites <laughs> to a ceremony that you don't even know about. That's right. That wasn't written about in the in the sacred scrolls. You're That's about to right. see something that you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, we are here today. We are going to do a little spoiler stream for Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0, Thrice Upon a Time. But we're going beyond the limits of a normal spoiler stream. In the yeah. past, we did that for uh, the third movie. We mm -hmm. but we did that like uh, with I think Mariel yeah and then Brian showed up at one point we yeah. we had yeah. uh, Jake Innes and the last Cody call in yeah but here Sean Chatfield sits. yeah we wanted an expert this time yeah, yeah they wanted someone who um, knows the source material <laughs> no but but I was gonna say we did we did a spoiler stream for the third movie then at one point Garrett you and I did a commentary right for, uh, for a, End like of Eva a, for End of Evangelion yeah. This stream is kind of a hybrid of the two right. where we're going to discuss it, but we're actually just going to play because Amazon now has the tech where you can do a watch party and yeah. watch it with everyone at home. Um, we're getting cozy. We're going to actually watch the movie and talk through that. Uh, but anyway, uh, anybody who's watching this later on YouTube, you can just sync this. We'll, we'll make it. We'll try to make it easy we'll where clap. you can sync it up. We'll you count know, you with, down. Yeah, we'll count you down and all that stuff. But... If you're joining us with with if you're joining with us on Twitch today, it should just all work. Unless you're in, dude. I tried to do it last night. On I was testing it out. I was like, sure. oh, they got all of Mr. Bean on yeah. Amazon. Yeah, is that I'm what you're going it. for? Wouldn't work in Safari on a Mac. Uh, so I no. heard that in the yeah. chat, someone was saying, yeah, don't use Safari for this. Won't work. Yeah, it won't work. So anyway, Chrome boys so out get there. Get on your Chome. Get on your <laughs> Firefox. Get your Netscape Navigator. Get Opera. Pop. You know, popping. Um. Yeah, I'll so, share this with you, Sean. I got a blanket it. too. I you hey, don't want to share? Everyone, yeah, I'm sure you know my history with this, so this isn't going to come to a surprise for you. I'm going to watch what huh? Robo dude. Get the subs. Robo wow. dude. Robo dude. Oh, Thank you for all we the subs. just. You're going to start Fourth Robo Impact without us, TV. buddy. Slow down. Damn. Thank you. Um. Wait, a million subs? I think I think you said a million. That's the max you can well, give too. Well, no. Wait, hold on. It says zero subs. Oh. Or, or wait, or it's, is it the closest value to zero? Oh Infinite gosh. subs. Guys, we're going to be spoiling the movie through. Like, we're going to watch <laughs> the movie together, but I'm sure we're going to bring stuff up that happens later in the movie. Yeah. So, you know, if this is not your only time seeing it, I, it might get a little dodgy. This may not be now. the best first experience. Therefore, that's why I'm going to watch it this way for the first time. <laughs> yeah, this so is your first time. And Sean, just to clarify... <laughs> Has not seen any of the other rebuild movies. No, he did play Shinji in uh, you know our our uh, Evangelion, Evangelion live action video. So right. he has a little insight. Right. What are I'm curious. I'm asking the chat. I'm asking everyone here, but sure. the chat too. Do we think what are the odds and what are the ratios here on Sean enjoying what he sees today mm. versus wanting to die? Yeah, what's a chat? I thing? actually think he'll. I I actually think he might. A little bit enjoy it. Uh, maybe uh, we'll see. I, I, I see so. a lot of gifting of subs, and I just want to say thank yeah. you because you're you, making everybody. this shitty afternoon bearable for me by doing that. Thank <laughs> you, you. Were, you were very happy for me and, uh, no, and Rocco. Truly I was. But you were very happy for me on the 13th, on the morning of you know Ava I, being released. It felt like Christmas for me just to just live to, vicariously yeah, through just me. Like you're excited. Yeah. Again, I said this before, but if the Padres win the World Series, you'll be excited for me. I, will I know be. you will be. I definitely will. So it's be. the same kind of thing where it's like they've been waiting for this for so long. This and is gonna be This is yeah. our sweet revenge. Rocco and I had to sit through all this fucking tease swag chain yeah. bullshit. Oh my goodness. How many we got months? three hours of, <laughs> of chat field on our mound. I will say <laughs> I will say I uh I will give it. A fair chance. Yeah, yeah. I will give it popcorn shakers after I watch oh, the good. movie. Okay. All right. Good. And uh, popcorn shakers, by the way, that's our review system out of five. Yes. How many popcorn yeah. shakers? We do that do for Makes It For Movie Club, but we'll yeah. do it here. Um, I came prepared. I have a blanket in case I get cold. I'm already there. I have my Evangelion shirt that my daughter designed. Wow. I have 
uh, Korean barbecue flavored seaweed as a snack. Nice. With cashews. That's good. Some Perrier fusions with strawberry kiwi sparkling water and caffeine pills. It gets fucking boring. Wow. So oh, I'm ready to go. Wow. Sean. Oh, and and gum for the stinky breath. <laughs> wow. My friends here. Yeah, I'm I've ready. got. I've just got a. Uh, I've just got a giant cup of coffee because this is a long fucking movie, man. Yeah, dude. Or those I trains? I just really wanted to keep emphasizing that. What? Are those trains on oh, your coffee? It's the track? monorail. Oh, okay. Oh. It says, please cl stand clear of the doors. I like and, that. And symbolically. Por favor, mantenase Alejandro de las Puertas. Ah. Pay me your sentado, por Mind the gap. Yeah, that's on here somewhere, too. That's cool. I thought it was uh, symbolic of the trains that Shinji's always riding on. Well, that is why I picked it. Okay, cool. cool. Dude, that hype train was dope, guys. I was yeah, oh, say. speaking of trains. Okay, so will Sean <laughs> like the movie? We got a poll going in the Johnny chat. Johnny started a poll. Johnny will be coming down to join us shortly. Yeah. Oh, Chat wow. Bits. Okay, and the so what's the leading that. result is no. Oh, yeah. that's not Okay, good. well, hey, you know, maybe. I would vote no as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you're going to love it. Wow, it's overwhelmingly no. <laughs> I think there are I think there are parts you're going to be like I don't I don't know what's happening, but I think in general it won't be a I really I mean If you have any that. questions, just ask. Well, you'll be talking the whole time, so I'll have questions for sure, but, but we'd love to explain anything that okay. like comes up like what is that? Okay. Yeah, I will have questions. Okay, cool. Cuz again, I haven't seen any of the other movies, so this is going to yeah. be a little confusing. But you it's rebuild of Ava and you played Shinji in all of Ava including End of Ava, so it's, Correct. you know the material. I know the material. Yeah. Okay. But primarily, me and Garrett will be talking through this yeah. and kind of giving our, you know, this is a long, you know, with End of Ava, it, it's, that's a way shorter movie with a lot of lore behind it. Yes. So it was kind of like, we didn't have nothing, time. but yeah, it almost <laughs> couldn't fit in all of our commentary. This movie is a lot longer, so I anticipate it'll be a little more relaxed. Yeah. Of a, I might get sucked into the beauty, especially some yeah. of the battles and yeah. just enjoy them. Yeah. Um, I will say, last time when I did that spoiler cast, yeah. I, I kind of helmed that with a script I had printed out. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I don't ever want to go back to that again. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was a four-hour stream. Yeah. It, it's all up on, on my YouTube channel, but I, I remember, yeah, going through the script, and it just went and went and went. Yeah. Luckily, we're just locked into the runtime of the film, so we, we won't yeah. be going for that the long. The second the credits hit, shut up mm -hmm. and then and run out. No, okay. we'll, whatever, we'll see. We'll see. Might might have some things. Oh, you add. don't have tissues, Sean. I That's the one thing you didn't pick, uh, you didn't bring. I don't know why I would need tissues. Am I cry? Well, the way end of Ava starts, Shinji needs some tissues. You oh, might. Jesus Christ! This movie doesn't start like that, though. Don't well, worry. Oh, thank God. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think going into this movie, and we haven't started it yet, everybody. Yeah. There's some people <laughs> that are watching that are like, was this supposed to start by now? Uh, no. Sorry. No, we, we haven't hit the button yet. We're vamping. But I definitely think this movie is more, whereas the old movies were all about the, were a little bit meta, but mostly about the complicated lore and all that stuff. I think these newer movies are a much higher percentage about the meta, meaning the creator's reflection on Evangelion. Yeah. I think there's more about that happening than there is like, then, then it matters what the lances are or what they do. Right. I think it's more important what it all signifies in, in the creator's life and in ours as fans of the material. So Let that's me what, ask a real question. Yeah, sure. And you don't, what if I have to pee? Well, then we go pee because no, because I, you know, Rocco doesn't diaper? like people leaving. He, when that oh, happens, it. if it happens, it happens. This is a long movie, so okay. Uh, because I've had we a can't, lot of I do want to say we will not be able to pause this. That, yeah, see, that's, that's what I'm that saying. That feature you can't rewind or pause when it's playing. Oh, really? it's, that's it. So yeah, that's cool. There's a Just long you know. running bit of when we go. To, well, we used to go to GDC, and I would ask Rocco, "Should I pee now?" Because I would have to go, <laughs> but I want to miss our videos being yeah. playing. You know, in front of everyone, right? But I will ask that question again today as a warning because you'll know, hey, is this yeah. a good spot or should I hold on? Yeah. So I'm about to get murdered or well, something. Okay, we'll I tell you. I can finish this if you want to just have like a... That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, thank you. Okay. You got a Richard Christie. You got to bring a diaper with mm -hmm. you. We, we're all... we're. I mean, poop socking is approved here. So mm. do whatever you got to do. Great. Thank you. Okay, we're looking at the poll. Uh, 760,000 votes for no. Mm. Four, I'm sure that's how many viewers we have right now. <laughs> um, 455,000 yes. say oh. yes. So, you know, that's not the worst odds. Mm -hmm. It's not good, but it's not the worst. 
Um, okay, well, uh, what do you think? Everything working okay, Johnny, so far? Okay. Um, well, what do you think? Should we start it? Everyone at home, yeah. you ready to start? And again, this will be archived on YouTube uh, right. later. And so we'll try our best to let you know where we're at so that when you watch this later, you can play it along. You know, seek it up in both tabs. Maybe we'll even put out like an MP3 if you want to hear that. Sure. Oh, yeah. So okay, we're we're gonna start it. Get ready, everybody. We're gonna start. We're going to. That's it. That's select the one. it. Select it. And we'll count it down. All right, and here we go. Start the watch party. Okay. What is it? Okay, it's thinking. And it's, okay, we're gonna count down. Open it in a new tab. Sure. No. Right. Uh, no, I don't think you needed to do that. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Okay. Two, Actually, one, yeah. One, oh, three, wait. three. It's playing. Start. Yeah, hit start watching. It's playing for people probably now. Oh, shit. So we didn't count it down properly, but. No, no, no. Can... It's okay. Oh, wait. Here oh, we wait. go. It, it begins in three, two, two, one. No, it's already playing for most people. Fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. We missed 18 seconds. That's okay. So we are currently at the 23 second mark. Uh, and let's hit those language options too, because I want to. I want. Yeah. And everyone at home, you can watch it in whatever language you want. You can pick Japanese or English. We're gonna watch Japanese. English. Uh, hit that. Hit the no, first not one. CC. And then uh, keep scrolling. The three. Characters. Yeah, right there. Yeah. It is funny that Twitch, or uh, I guess this is on Amazon's end. The Japanese audio isn't written in English. It's written in characters, so you yeah. have to know. Yeah. We're buffering after our subtitle. Well, I'm missing all the recap, guys. I know, Sean. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Uh, well, they I, don't. I don't know what's happening. I just wait. Bum, bum, bum. Cool. Well, we are. It can't handle the jet. We, they wanted us to watch it in English. I know that's what happened. This happened yeah, to me. We're a minute 20 in. It's okay. Oh, oh. Yeah, do that. When I changed the options at home, you know, I have really slow internet. Mm. And I went, started the movie, started changing all those options, and the same thing happened. So now we're Seems all to be up. fine. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's working now. And just cool. to, right, you know, we're yeah. on a minute 42 right now, just in case you guys want to catch up with us on, on Amazon. On Amazon, yeah. whatever. Or wherever you got it. Good. Yep. Yeah, seems like that's working fine. Uh, if you want us to be louder, you can actually adjust uh, on Amazon. You can adjust the audio of each. That's you can crazy. turn the movie down that? and us up or That's vice cool. versa. Whatever you want to do. That's cool. We did um, a sound check, Sean. So this is as loud as we can get it here. But yeah, for some reason, it did freak out when we changed languages. It seems to be fine now. OK, so we're watching Sean previously on Evangelion. So, Sean, the difference in this new movie universe, there's some differences. Right. What happened was a lot of the same shit happened. Third Impact started. You know okay. Third Impact I from do. our end of Ava video. I do. Whoa. That looks different. Shinji accidentally started Third Impact uh -oh. on his own, and they stopped it. They they froze Unit 1. Kaoru stopped it. Gray-haired bro. Yeah, yeah. Kaoru. He yeah, stopped me. it and froze Unit 1, so Third Impact wouldn't happen. Shinji was asleep in there for 14 years inside uh -huh. Unit 1, and then they woke him back up. Like, look, look, the world, like, we stopped it, but look how fucked up the world is. Shit's all red. And that was the third one? This is all yeah, the third, the third one. one. And so everyone kind of blamed Shinji. Um, Masato and her crew broke off from Nerve. Like, yo, what's all this third impact shit? Gendo and all them, what are they doing? Like, they're trying to, like, end the world? Fuck that. And they left and formed their own group called Will. Oh, and Vin. so she's got her own. She's almost like the new Gendo in their own group. Like Masato she's looking is? all badass. Yeah, yeah she's oh. all like badass. But the world kind of blames Shinji for Perfect. doing all this third impact shit. Oh. They're like, who is this so guy in Unit One? Like, you know, it's the, it's the Akari boys. It's Gendo. It's uh, Shinji. They're like they're doing bad shit and doing all this apocalyptic shit. So anyway, Shinji's now awake and out of the Ava, and they're taking him somewhere. Okay. Where are, Where are they going to take him? Oh so he's God. still he's still kind of like doesn't know what the fuck is going on after a 14 year time gap and a big end of the world fight but now he's back with Asuka and Rey like yeah. in this red world. 
So I think we've recapped Sean plenty. I think he's pretty much if up to I speed. If I don't get it, then I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, Whoa. just cut to the Eiffel Tower. For I'm those, in love with this. For those watching it, it just popped to the Eiffel Tower shot underneath. I have a sexual relationship with the Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. An the objectum, objectum thing. Oh, yeah, an objectum yeah. sexual well, it's, uh, it's The hot, animation <laughs> right off the bat is already so different than what I've seen in the show. They use yeah. a lot of CG, yeah, CG progressively through the rebuild. Like the first yeah. movie has like a little CG. Mm-hmm. And then here in the last one, they Whoa. they are using it in full force. Those are ships uh, that th- we threw. No. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah technically, yeah, it seems like same kind. The See Vil- the strings, dude. The Vill group. <laughs> remember those uh, shields from the Avas fighting with the Pistron rifle? Those are like re scrapped and put under the bottom mm-hmm. of. United Nations ships, and then the Ville team is like using these. Yeah, they have their like spray painted logo on them, but they've like scrapped together at the end of the world like all this shit laying around, like these yeah. battleships and aircraft carriers. Yeah, but yeah, they're on strings. So this te- <laughs> this this opening scene w- we we saw in like two years ago. Yeah, because anime they expo. did they screened it early at Anime Expo, um, and. Uh, as a little preview, little did they know the next year that movie wasn't coming out. Remember how wild it was? <laughs> the booth at Anime Expo had the big poster of the twisted Eiffel Tower, and it was like, yeah. dude, the 3.0 plus 1.0, like, there's merch here yeah. for it? Like, what the fuck? I love that shot of them getting the that, USB that orientation, cool. right? Yeah, right? That, 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 I like that. You can definitely tell in the detail and the quality of the animation because this movie was delayed forever. It took like nine years to come out. You can tell they got they were like, yo, give them their money's worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the animation is such good quality in this. And all I love these, their suit designs and all, stuff. All those suit designs are kind of based off of like Asuka's helmet in 3.0 where that space battle happens. Yeah. You see Mari and Asuka in those. Something I noticed here when the little lander touches down, it's very clean on its magnetic feet. By the end of this operation, the l mm-hmm. red mold has grown into their ship because oh, it's really? such a high density in this yeah. area that it's turning their stuff red. Oh, I, had, I, had, I didn't notice that. It's starting to like invade before the end of the who, mission. Who yeah. is this girl? Oh, so Sean, you don't know about this? She's a new pilot that showed up in these movies named Mari. Okay. And we really don't know shit about her. Okay. She mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, new pilot. Okay. And so a lot of there's honestly a lot of fans that don't like her because it's like, who's this new idiot like right. that's in here? Like, what's her deal? She calls everyone nicknames. Okay. You, you'll find a little more. I about like her. her. She's hot. She <laughs> just to sell figures to you, John. Dude, yeah, exactly. Dude, the slickest move, and it's coming up here soon. Yeah. Is when she's moving the Ava fast and is doing the I call uh, the, I don't know what other way to describe <laughs> it. The dad backing up out of the yeah. driveway move <laughs> when she's going. Like that? That, that is like the, steering the, wheel that's the sickest thing I've seen an Ava pilot do. I don't care. But animating that into this is a genius fucking thing because yeah. we all know what that move looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they've retrofitted the controls to now be like a steering wheel because yeah. she's got these gyro arms. All right. Uh, what is happening? What are they doing right now? Okay, so uh, there is, as you could see, <sighs> the world has been... Turn red. They're calling it coreized. It, okay. it, because of this impact thing that happened. Right. And uh, they're there trying to... Well, you'll see in a second what they're yeah. trying to do. Okay. Um, this is the the the, uh, the the Will organization right. that split off from Nerve. Right. Nerve is now just Gendo and his like, right-hand dude. Okay. And they're sending bad shit to stop them. From yeah, what these about automated All that things. stuff is from Gendo. Yeah. This yeah. other stuff is Masato's group. Yeah. And this like girl... Her, yeah, she's with Masato's group. Like, they're, right. they're all and posted up here in... They're in Paris. And are they trying to kill this girl or just capture her or get well, her to stop? We don't know. I think they're trying to knock out this organization. Like, I see. Yeah. They're trying to stop Gendo's group doing. is trying to go forward with these impacts. Mm-hmm. Whereas uh, Ville is like, no, we're trying. They're trying to like clean this shit up. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and they you'll call, see that in a second. They call these things like L forty, like Mark fours. Mm-hmm. Like in the previous movie, all those little flying Avas. All right, th- there. That, there you go. Th- that's, that, so that's so fucking cool. cool. <laughs> anyway, sorry. but these these Avas are like 
powered like an atom, and they've got the atom mask on them because mm-hmm. they're automated. They're like operating like a hive, they say. Yeah. Which is like, are, are they self aware? Are they like an angel more than that? An was ad- my question during this. An is Ava? like, yeah, as how, uh, they definitely, uh, this definitely looks like an angel. Yeah, it's got yeah. the angel mask on. And us. that's what kind of, I guess that's what that's I was trying silly. to figure out is how does Gendo have the power of all these things like this? Like, they, they look like angels. Like, how does he have all that? And I think, Garrett, maybe you have more thoughts about this. Yeah. I think in this version of Ava, I think Sele is less of a organization of de- of like old dudes yeah. and more of an actual force in like, like they have all this at their possession and gave them to Gendo. Yeah, because you never saw them even as human forms. They were no, always monoliths. They, in this, they are mo- they are monoliths. Like an they, AI. They, and he says in the third movie, these are beings that have. He says something about they had the, like the fruit of knowledge or whatever, and he ga- and they gave it to society. So maybe they carried over. From I think pul- they're an past. ancient thing that gave a bunch of this shit mm-hmm. to Gendo and his posse. I, I watched this part with Derek, and he was like, "All right, you got walking robots with giant dicks. Like, what's happening here?" <laughs> well, they're straight goose stepping. Yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. Which is well, symbolic of, you know, yeah, drills. He, he he's breaking, you know, war laws here mm-hmm. is is what Ritzko says basically, and and they symbolize Nazi imagery as those Avas like approach. Yeah. But to go back to the Sele thing, yeah. I think Sele in these movies are like the fucking monoliths in 2001. I think Where you're they're right. actually that. They're not like old dudes doing Skype or whatever. They are that, and they gave humanity the fruit of knowledge so that they may become advanced. He, yeah. it, there's something Gendo says in the third movie about that when he goes to shut them off. He's like, thank you for giving us that fruit, but I'm going to go beyond your plans now. Yeah. And he turns them off. And they're happy with it. Yeah. They like accept it. Are you with that, Sean, or are you kind of like not? <laughs> yes, I'm that? always with it. Okay. So this is like the Operation, what was the mountain's name? Whatever. I, in Ava, they have yeah, the sniper Yakima fight. or whatever. Yeah. 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 So this is oh, that again with no. oh, shit. all Are those the... shields on the bottom of the ships and this enemy, Ava, using a like pistol rifle. Thing, right? Yeah. It does look that lunar lander. Yeah. Johnny's joining us here, by the way. Thank you, Johnny, Hello. for kind of getting us set up here. Um. Okay, so is everyone in the city dead? Because everyone has a mask so? on when they're like out like in the atmosphere. So it makes you think that like they have you can't been, survive. Yeah, you can't in survive in this setting, but a lot of them, Sean, have been transformed. To what? Well, you'll see okay. in a little bit. Okay. Uh so like I don't need to worry about people like getting crushed in those buildings. I mean, no, a lot of the world got did get wiped out in right. these impacts mm-hmm. that they were doing, you know. Yeah. So a lot of them might be dead or transformed into something else. This is cool. Here, this is cool. Mari says this again, Nagara, my gal. Mm-hmm. And she referred earlier to like whoever's in Will throwing ships around. She's using this cute nickname, but she's talking to Masato. Mm-hmm. But why does she call her Nagara? Or what is what is that nickname? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's Masato who's helping her with the Vunder. Yeah, yeah. Flinging ships around as a distraction. Yeah. This is pretty sick, though. Not much to say here except this yeah. is dope. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower as a fucking weapon is yeah. is cool. The four Avas holding up that gun, too. I find that a lot of this movie just becomes like really cool action sequences where you don't really have to think like, too hard. Yeah, you can just like enjoy like the spectacle. There's a lot of complicated stuff and it's kinda like, eh, maybe don't See, worry. Look about at it. the <laughs> Lander's boots now. They're yeah, not black. Yeah, you're They're right. Red. It was ganging up on it. And yeah. in earlier scenes they show it starting to creep in. It's like they're being it's contaminating them. Yeah. Oh, it's activated. So we were seeing in past movies, we saw, ex- I think it was the last one, we saw these pillars hanging oh. around. We didn't know what they do. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. That's what the Paris restored. Do. They're trying to get back to normal. Gendo wants it all shitty and red. Yeah. yeah. And he, we, w- he wants to turn the world into something else. And we'll learn more about that. Man, what a dick. That's the Euronerve you, logo, you, yeah. too. You kind of know that from End of Ava. He wants yeah. to. Yeah, but like, you know, the Sele thing and who's he working for? Is he doing his own thing? I don't know. Japan had the Red Nerve logo like that. That blue one. I'd seen that around before, yeah. but that, I think that's just like European. The, yeah, Euro Nerve. They had the blue color. Yeah. Wait, did we get yellow? Uh, I don't know if they showed America's. I feel like every other frame of this movie is either boobs or a butt. <laughs> he knows. You, you know what, though? You go back and watch <laughs> the original series and it's. More than you remember. Yeah, like, that's it would anime. cut to that. All the, yeah, that's definitely that's the anime. Trope. But, yeah. Big eyes, big boobs. 
<laughs> big eyes, big boobs. I think especially, though, in Ava, there has always been a sexual thing in the air. I think it's uh, anime. It was yeah. I mean, that could also just be that. This is what I didn't catch the first time, Garrett. All the components. JA02. Wow. Yeah. I made jokes. I, I, did a, I did a video talking about the movie or whatever, and I made jokes like, oh, man, where was Jet Alone? Yes. Jet Alone is in this movie. It, it, they took it from the Paris government, and that's what, um, when they rebuild Unit 2 and Unit 8 later, oh. he's got, got all the army parts. Shit. It's Jet Alone yeah. parts. I thought that was so cool. Oh. Do you remember Jet Alone, Sean? Is this Shinji? I can, it looks fucking depressing. <laughs> yeah, here's so, your puppy boy. Oh so <laughs> what just happened before this movie is uh, Kaoru died, just like in the original whatever, right. is uh, trying to stop more impact shit from happening. Kaoru died. Head got popped off again. Is, yeah, head, and you can see how he feels. You better. know? So this is like left and over. Again, and the world blames Shinji for all this shit that happened. Mm -hmm. Um, they blame, you know, these, these Akari boys, man, they're fucking the world up <laughs> at the end of the last movie in the preview, you know, they kind of show you the city all red with the, these yeah. headless Ava's yeah. floating around or kind of paused. Yeah. Here's the first time we're seeing the shit close up as they walk past it. And yeah. it's like gravity's turned off in some, on yeah. some things, but you, you have no explanation still like what the fuck, what happened what did Shinji do? Well, here's the thing: is like when the when it first starts, the world's normal, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. The rebuild series. Yeah, like it's like kind of like the series where I was like, this is normal, and then things are about to get weird. Yeah, in Ava, there was always this thing that happened before any of the Ava stories happen: is second impact happened. Right, and that's why they which, had to build the. Which is why they started building the, the Avas Ava to Ava stop the angels. Place, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. The soundtrack is so good here, by the way. It, yeah. Um, Battery's dead. That's what that says. But in the case in. of this, though, I mean, we we uh, we know that Shinji started a near third impact. That's why everyone hates him, and uh, a lot of shit happened while he was in the four, you know in Unit One for fourteen years. And if you notice too, um, Sean, none of them have aged. They all right. still look fourteen, even though it's been that long, because of something called the Curse of Ava. Oh, and I think that is more of a symbolism thing. I think it's a commentary from the creator on. If you're in Evangelion too deep, you will stay 14 oh. forever. I think. But look who this is. We haven't seen him in quite some time. And he's aged appropriate. And to it's Toji. Mm -hmm. And he, in this version, has not died. And he's a doctor. And he's 28 years old and a doctor. So in the show, Toji was in the black unit, Sean, that gets crushed. And... Right. Right, in that's right. The rebuild because Derek dies. Yeah. yeah, in the rebuild movie, that was Oscar that that happened to. But yeah. she is not dead. Well, no, she's with you. She's just got an eye patch. Right. She's <laughs> all, okay. Like the dog. But now Toji's like saved you and, yeah. But we, I, <laughs> I, this part of the movie that we're about to get into, yeah, w w is maybe some of my favorite stuff in this whole movie because this, uh, you never. I feel like after all these years, we never got to just hang out with everyone. Like, in just rebuild. in a peaceful time. Not really in the Rebuild movies. Yeah, no. and... You had episodes like that in the show, but not, not yeah. for years. And now we're kind of like, oh, here's a town of survivors. And this all feels like Studio Ghibli's Evangelion. Well, I, I read some stuff about people who work at Kara. Yeah. And some Ghibli people came over to Kara yeah. to yeah. work on this segment. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Which reads, yeah. I think, really well. Cool. And also, you know, the relationship that Ano has with Miyazaki. Yeah. Um, it just makes sense. It makes sense that that was part of his history. But I also think this ties into the big theme of this movie, which I think is like... Maybe enjoy lots of what life has to offer, and this, not there's a the whole theme of this movie is yeah. even let's let's not let's let's take let's like do other stuff. Let's not of. think about <laughs> and let's not think about Evangelions for and, a while. and really savor like a lot of what life has to yeah. offer, and and so <laughs> I love this shit where Ray starts it's to a notice pregnant cats, cat. <laughs> but she doesn't even know what a cat looks like. <laughs> yeah, I like Ray wearing the black more than the white. Looks yeah. Cool. yeah, it's goth, goth Ray. Smell, you're yeah. into that. Sure. <laughs> no, I was I was uh, happy for the costume change too. 
to just be different. There's so much that's just different from the show in this. But I think you're right on, Rocco, because this might be my favorite segment of the film. Yeah. Is I, this time. Which, God, you just fucking... I, I went from loving Shinji in 2.0 mm -hmm. and then kind of being off. Oh, Sorry for him in yeah, 3.0. Yeah. To now I'm back to like, you little bitch. Yeah. Like, they, especially but, now, like, they have such a great community here, and he's like, no. Yeah. Um, but they, they that's a good, him. though. That's a good feeling for they you. They want have. you to feel that yeah. because of where he goes by the end of this movie, and Shinji's you'll feel a lot better about it. What were you saying? I was going to say, like, I, isn't it really rude in, in Japanese culture to not eat when, like, you I are think invited? so. That's why this guy gets so pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I also love that they put him in. Uh, Toji's old costume, yeah, or yeah. well, costume, yeah. clothes. But you yeah. know what I mean? Like that's his old costume. That's what Derek wore. But right. I also feel like there's a little bit of symbolism there. It's like, yeah, here, put on the 14 year old clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's like homeboy hasn't grown up, <laughs> literally and figuratively. And Toji's this, like, I have a child now. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm a doctor. I got, <laughs> I got a kid, and like I've moved on. Like I'm not, I'm not 14 anymore, man. That I, real quick for first person perspective of yeah. Ray is such an end of Ava like scary you know yeah. like look the way the baby would perceive it <laughs> yeah. you know what that I mean frame. Um, I love this moment though but a cool callback too that's their other classmate his wife yeah that came oh yeah the he class rep he yeah, married yeah. Hikari yeah which was a, a big character in the show as well like that yeah. that that shot right there the baby's perspective is like yeah look at her eye it's scary end of ava type imagery <laughs> but again I, I almost wonder if that's intentional it's like in, that's a baby's in, perspective the way and well the way ava ended before that view was terrifying yeah and the way you see it now it's like no it's different we're thinking about different things now yeah it's not terrifying it's cute maybe i don't know <laughs> i like that that's some handmade Whoa. ass wine too Sean, don't look at this part. Yeah, don't look at this. <laughs> yeah. Sean's never seen this kind of thing. Either. <laughs> yeah. So, Ray really knows this nothing, huh? She's like so isolated <laughs> in these rebuild films. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she really has not been in an outside world. She's in a test tube for every... She, she knows Shinji, yeah. and that's about it. And uh, sh this one that's with them right now is just a further clone of like... Like, a, like the one that was in the previous movies... Um, uh, you know, um, is still in Unit One somewhere, but this is another clone, you know, and, yeah. and so like they said earlier, like you're not even Ray Ayanami, and she's like, "What? I'm not." Um, and so I think this is just a lot of her realizing, like, okay, who who am I then, really? That mm -hmm. kind of identity thing. The the Ray clones that are similar in the show and then happening in this. I like that in 3.0, when we finish that, we're thinking, and we talk about it a lot in the spoiler cast, Rocco, that yeah. like, dude, is Ray in the Walkman, you know, the SDAT player yeah, or yeah. what? And I think we're kind of answered in this, like you said it just a minute ago, like she's still in unit one. Yeah. Like some the, version of her, they pulled Shinji out, but that original Ray is like still in unit one, still in there. Um, this is this Ray three. <laughs> someone in the chat brought up a good point though too. Uh, her watching the baby and having that obsession with that is kind of reminiscent, almost of Shinji watching Ray in the old show, thinking about his mom when like, she's reminds, ringing out the rag. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I see that. So now this is Kensuke, who was uh, another kid. Now he wasn't in our video that we okay. made, but. Another kid that was a main character in the show, friend of Shinji's in school, and now he's older too. Mm -hmm. He was always um, a military nerd, so it's yeah. cool that he's this survivalist in the apocalypse I, now. They utilized that perfectly of where course. he was so into that in the old show, and now it's really being used. Something that he, you know, something that he used as, or that he loved as a kid is actually being used in a practical, good way now as an adult. He's kind of a good example of an adult. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, he's he's doing what he loves, but in a well, way that helps Toji. other people. And, you know. Yeah, Toji and Aida are turned into these, like, respectable adults. Yeah. And Shinji's, like, still not snapped out of it. Yeah, I, again, I think it's like, I think we're, tr I think they're trying to show us the best versions of an adult you could see yeah. versus Shinji. This is amazing. Here we go. This is amazing. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> I'm naked. Why aren't you getting hot and flustered? I was watching this with Derek and he was like, he started screaming. He was like, what is this movie? 
If you just know these characters, it's yeah. like so perfect. And this is like callback city to shit. Who is that? Who's naked? That's Oscar. That's Oscar. Oh, Oscar's naked. Okay. Yeah. But who doesn't care? Shinji. Sh- Shinji's oh. too fucking comatose to give a fuck. But uh oh, oh, that's fuck. what happened to Kaoru in the last movie, Sean. Yeah, uh. he had an exploding thing. Uh, there's a collar that they put on Ava pilots to make sure they don't go berserk or do that. Uh. You know all that shit. Yeah, they have a they have a uh, uh, a fail safe for that now. Basically, when they like, go berserk or whatever, they can explode the collar. Right. M- Masato's got a remote control where she can just detonate that if she wants to. Masato but, has this, but they're automatic too. Like if if something like Kaoru turned into an angel and it went off on its own, yeah. I popped his head off. Uh, Asuka, I th- I have heard, might be playing something close to a Wonder Swan. Yeah. I looked into this too. She's playing a game called I think Poyo, or it's named after that uh, Gunpei. She's Gunpei, yeah, Gunpei, yeah. Oh, it's so that's a real. That's it's a real, that's a real legit. Game. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It's weird though. The the uh, the thing is designed with like GameCube D stick, and like some parts are different colors and <laughs> yeah. things. But it's definitely that Wonder Swan, and that game. Uh, which is cool because she was a gamer in the show. She played, like, I think Sega? Yeah, with, Sega Saturn. When that mother, Hikari, came over to spend the night, they yeah. played video games, you know? Uh, the the last time that they re-released the soundtrack... Oh, I love these butt shots, though, by the way. The panty, <laughs> like... took, like, a month to animate, too. Yeah. But <laughs> the line, like, forever. the realism of the line right above her thigh where it goes across her skin <laughs> and everything is just so fucking detailed that you could just tell. Like right there. Like you can kind of see in. That's like animated on ones. Like that probably took Garrett. a long time. But that's so realistic. <laughs> I'm telling you, like that's what Trish looks like around like 1030 at night. Oh, shit. Okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, I when The last time they released the Ava soundtrack, like the full box set, yeah. they included all the tracks from the Sega Saturn game that she played. Oh, so it has all this like, nah, 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 nah. yeah, it was pretty cool from the original show. You guys got it. Oh, but that's what I mean. This is very like slice of life, like yeah. Studio Ghibli. Uh, it's it's like, like just like learning about life. The way the show did the hey, let me show you what life could be. Where we all just go to school. Ray mm-hmm. runs around with the toast in her mouth, and they bump yeah. into each other. The, yeah, the way it could be. This is almost another version of that. Like, yeah, hey, look yeah. what look what these characters could do. Yeah, with their lives. Even after the end of the world, look what they can do. Yeah, with their yeah, lives. yeah. Well, it ties into it, it, it. It ties into the theme of the kind of the original show and the movie, which was anywhere could be heaven if you choose to live. Like they're literally mm-hmm. living in the middle of the apocalypse, and they're like making a happy life out of yeah. it, and they're not, you know. Succumbing to misery. <laughs> All, these women don't really judge her for her bizarre ass fucking plug suit. Mm-hmm, other than mm-hmm, like, those mm-hmm, are some mm-hmm. tight fitting clothes. So when this movie uh, opened in Japan, I was kind of look. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to hide from spoilers. If I see him, I see him. And people were tweeting out Farmer Ray. Yeah. Farmer Ray. And I was going, <laughs> Farmer Ray. this is a joke. What are you talking about? And then someone you know, they did not allow filming or photo oh, yeah. or whatever when it was in theaters, but someone took a picture of the program and it had her with the farmer cap on like that. And, and those were garters. Like, Wait, on holy shit. That's real. <laughs> what is this fucking movie? I saw. <laughs> so I was very like, you know, trying God, to the stay, animation is so good. Sorry. That. It's like, superb. no, that's fine. That's incredible. It anyway, is. you were saying yeah. I was trying to stay away from spoilers so hard, but I did see an action figure maybe like yeah. two months before I saw the film of that. Yeah. version of Ray and I was just like okay so what is Ray doing what what is what She's, are they all doing right now what's happening this city is popped up it's a town uh, of survivors of right. survivors and if you live here you gotta work so yeah. she went to work in the fields she, like with these women she doesn't know anything about I mean literally someone asked her before like she, she was like who are all these what are all these and they're like you've never seen a crowd of people right. she hasn't seen that She. this She's is a clone a that tube. has never been out Right. And so, yeah, she's just going along with it. And they're like, yeah, come work with us. And it's just so, that time. So maybe. she stayed in town. But Asuka, for whatever reason, has said, like, I oh. can't go to town. Like, I don't go in there. So what? Uh, and Shinji's oh, okay. too comatose. Hold on. This is a bath scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's fuck. She's still like, Johnny has. Oh, wait. O- Johnny. Has, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Johnny has only spoken up during nudity. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to yeah, point Johnny. that out. Hey, 
Learn a lot about Johnny today. I will say I am in love with the the tech, and there are so many shots of open plug suits with technology, like yeah, Darth Vader is. helmet insides mm -hmm. around the neck parts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I love those shots. There's oh, multiple yeah. shots of that. Oh, okay. Later, there's a shot of Asuka. The reason she's naked a lot, yeah. she's charging her plug suit on like Kensky's car batteries and stuff. Oh, but I, yeah, I love, hadn't noticed any of that. I love these high-tech shots of the inside of empty plug suits. Like it's, yeah. There's several of them. Which uh, Yeah, that's cool. So, okay, I'm going to raise working on the farm. She's Asuka yeah. is trying to turn Shinji on and Shinji's yeah. feeling sorry for himself. Is yeah. that basically And then Masato, we don't know where she's at. No. They're no. off with their organization somewhere. They saved Paris and Yeah, right. we saw yeah. with them doing it's, Paris but then shit. They don't need them to save other places, you know? Oh, that other girl saved it. They didn't even do anything. Yeah, Mari and Asuka and Ritsuko and that tech crew, you know, they they saved Paris, but now they're off probably recovering those parts from Jet Alone and yeah. rebuilding Unit 2, the red one, and Unit 8, the pink one. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're, off, they're off doing their thing while Shinji and these people are just chilling in town. Sure. Which I think Asuka's in charge here as far as, like, working for Misato, and she's instructed to just, like, keep Shinji alive. Yeah. And Wait, they're waiting for the next mission. Let Rei do her thing, it. you know. I really like this scene. Yeah. This God, this is why I hated the other thing. Shinji always sucks. <laughs> yeah, but again, but he has to. But I know, again, I, I think they, I think they really, because honestly, Sean, in these new movies, I really love the animation yeah, here. This by the way, flipped me cool. out. Whoa, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never quite seen CG animation like done in that way. Yeah. So I just wanted to say real quick, they they did something different with this movie, where instead of storyboarding it. They motion captured the whole movie. Yeah. They or they actually had actors in mm. the mocap suits and shot it that way, and then just animated. Okay, you know, um, animate over that, or keep it mm. this way, or keep. You know, I thought that I don't know. Dude, I thought this was really well including done. Including the whole village is a Toho style miniature on yeah. on a fucking table that he went meticulously. If you watch the documentaries yeah. that came along with this on Amazon, they're fantastic. Yeah. But anyway, I think, uh, yeah, in these new movies, they really did an effort, made an effort to make Shinji grow, grow a little bit, not as insufferable. But I think they really wanted to bring it back here. So He's got to go through. All I'm saying is, Sean, you missed out. Uh, there were a couple movies he was actually like starting I to be cool. I find it hard to believe. <laughs> but I think this is showing the, the... These are the steps of depression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, sure, yes. And he's got to be an annoying, you know, <laughs> archetype for that first step. It showing that showing sulking bit. Showing the worst that you can handle it. Like the the deep yeah. the the furthest down the you can, yeah. The chat's got it the, with the showing PTSD. Yeah. Mega yeah. Moeka. Maybe PTSD is more respectable or you know more Yeah, he shot appropriate he, than saying a uh, little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Ada, the guy who's watching over him, he says, like, he must experience something truly traumatic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, sure. yeah, Kaoru's fucking head popped in front yeah. of him right. again. Right. Are these, like, real photos? I can never really tell. They they did film this, but I yeah. think it's animated. Okay. I think they CG'd over some things okay. in this for sure. I know at the end for sure they did. Um, But maybe they did that there, too, because that looked really good. There's Johnny. <laughs> got a family now. That's what I love that everyone online is going. Pen Pen propagated an entire family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, Pen Pen got his wish. I think you're right. <laughs> I was most excited yeah. for Sean to see these birds. Yeah. So, uh, he, you know, <laughs> she, she, crying by himself. she force fed him and yelled <laughs> yeah. at him. So he yeah. just fucked off. So now, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, but she's, she's watching him. Yeah. Um, but you're right. So he's wearing what Derek was wearing. Yeah. So he's like, Wrapped up in what has happened, so he's wearing his clothes. Yeah, I guess this village only has what was left to sa scavenge. Yeah, and, before the world ended. You know, when Toji was fourteen, that fit him. Right, and they right, probably had it in their closet right. still. Okay. Yeah. The suit, the suit in the chair. There's the suit again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. There's a lot of talk about them having a relationship, Oscar and. And Kensuke. And Kensuke. He was definitely not phased at all seeing her naked in that part. No. But And he um, just threw a towel over her head. Yeah. 
but so he's I don't know almost, if that, I don't, he's almost a fatherly figure. That's what I mean. I don't know if he's like a caretaker more than you know. She's been in the bath for a very long time. So this I'm is saying. another day. <laughs> oh, okay. She's back in the bath. Yeah. They haven't. Uh, they keep bugging her about changing her name because she doesn't know what to be called. So, isn't it funny how the bath situation like that is so much of a part of Japanese culture? Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. That is like if they were setting up a survival town like this, they would build that here. I don't think anyone would even think about that. Well, no. You want to soak like, yeah. asses with the four of no. us? <laughs> what the? I would never get a bath. Like, they'd be like, no, we make one shower and we share. We you know we rotate. Yeah. I love that library. I wish that was yeah. a real library. A train library? Yeah, I just love the vibe of it. Yeah. Converting what was in the city, they like the part that they saved here yeah. to build the village, like it was a train yard. So they just started living and converting the trains yeah. into places like this. Like, I, I like how real everything looks. Wait, that one shot when she was oh. returning the potato or whatever to her, there was a little poster of some witches. Yeah. And I think that's a real anime or something or where people were like asking, like, why did they show that? Like, is there a new thing coming from that? Uh, that or? book that Ray is reading, isn't that the manga that his wife makes of the little? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, and it's also it's a little boy and a porcupine or a, a hedgehog. Oh, it is. People are saying that it is. It's it's the hedgehog's dilemma as well. Uh, is is It's a little boy. Didn't and think, a, and I didn't hedgehog. even think about that. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I like that she's got a fucking gat. Like, Under her pillow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a soldier now. Yeah. Like, she's a hard ass <laughs> Ava pilot. Yeah, that's gun pay. But look at that X D pad. That's like from a GameCube. Yeah. So, telling Ray that these feelings you have are programmed. Mm. Like,. Yeah, you want to go visit Shinji because you you were like made that way. And yeah. she's like, but I don't care. This is a classic Matrix debate. Right. You know, free wh will. Why would you be happy in the Matrix? It's bullshit. You know, you're plugged in. But then some people might be like, hey, I'd rather be plugged in and eating steak right. than in the real world fucking suffering. And then that's what happened in End of Ava. Hey, we, uh, we ended the world and now we're uh, fucking orange goo and there's no boundaries no problems no whatever everyone is one and he's like yeah but that's not real you know so it's yeah. the classic debate does ray there there's a quote uh -oh. ray or a bookend the ray. weird book yeah he always sees oh that's yeah the that's the first one we see in this movie yeah um right before she comes to talk and, to him and i wonder why we see that in this i mean i think you see it again maybe later or whatever but I, you know, there's always been the quantum ray theory mm -hmm. where when Ray becomes this God being, she is all seeing, all knowing of all time. So she's appearing, you know, that's why she appears before Masato blows up in end of Ava. And that's why, you know, and I wonder if that's still happening, like in this oh, alternate sure. version of Ava, she's, she can even she's see observing that. it. She yeah. can see that too. Like observing think, these important moments. I think. I'm gonna stick with that. I yeah. think that's what's happening. Um, Jackson Tucker uh, raided us. Shouts out. Oh, oh, shouts yeah, out. oh Jack Jackson, thank, thank you. Thank you for the raid, everyone. I think he's from Super Mega. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So earlier when Ray was uh saying she doesn't care that she's programmed to have feelings, I think Asuka drops that for the first time that like she's also programmed to have feelings and be almost emotionless. Yeah. Because kind of, kind of a weird comment. Yeah, she hasn't she hasn't fully explained this, but th this is something that comes up later. That's like, wait, what? Yeah. Um, See, it's just this is okay. And this <laughs> song, like, that this, vocal, even happening. this vocal arrangement, it's just beautiful, Sean. You're just happy for is these it, characters. Sean, we've we've never seen them just experiencing Lit. life. Little okay. okay, little curly pickle there. I love that shot. Yeah, you cut it. <laughs> anyway, shout, guys hey, are shout out Super Mega. I do want to give a shout, shout out. out. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. A lot of people having babies. See? Yeah, and babies. she's just she's fascinated Damn. by that. She, no, none of them have ever pregnant. had the experience that people just life have. finds a way, guys. I I do love this song, but you're close. You're it's very close to this song is unbreak my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Once Sean, you say Sean, it, I'll everyone play hears a loud it. version of it for you later. Okay. I love that. 
I love all of his like grown up. He's got to like maintain and and do like tech work around yeah. the civilization they've they've formed. Yeah. Yeah, still sitting there. Still depressed. I don't mean to spoil it, but I promise he does more. Like yeah. That. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it it is. I know I've said it a million times, but the chat's saying it too. It's v- very Studio Ghibli, y- mm-hmm. you know, b- b- being you know Time by the lapse. river, looking at the tadpoles, all that. It just feels like that countryside kind of. Did you have you guys been to the Ghibli Museum? I, I yeah. haven't. We yeah. were gonna yeah. go on this last, but trip, it's like you know, you you kind of walk into the woods a little bit to yeah. get to it, you know, and it, it has that same feeling. Super quaint. It was really neat. Sean, you gotta go. He's making okay. house. Taji's making house calls. It's always really funny to me how like Ava was like this fringe thing when it started, and now it's like become like this, like you yeah. know, like the biggest anime ever. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I feel like this is the thing with anime movies to always have like the sequence with a song. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hitting singles now. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's it's making charts. <laughs> yeah. This was a sick ass like Prometheus style auto yeah. medical. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping, uh, is but this... I love that he's he's installing it, and you know, Toji's the doctor. Yeah. Is wait? Is this? I might have missed this. Is this how they give birth? Well, because then it would be Prometheus. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> remember that? Yeah, it that just seemed awesome. like something like that bed in the movie. But it's like, hey, Will has has this tech that they're giving him as that's, well. That's funny you mentioned that, Johnny, because I know people. I know people who hate Prometheus, and yeah. that will still be like, yo, that like birth chamber scene that's we'll like see. i've never seen I that in a horror movie before the first birth so the scary. first prometheus was really good i yeah. liked it yeah i like yeah. that movie I, you mean you mean prometheus versus alien covenant that, yeah. yeah that's right that's yeah. correct alien covenant was the sequel to prometheus which was not good it's weird it was like well made yeah and then when it ended I felt no more interest in the alien universe. Mm. <laughs> I is was he, like, I'm done. He's actually talking to someone. So this is the first step, I guess. He, he's still acting like a little bitch, but he's talking to someone at least. He's opened up. To Ray. Yeah, because she's just obsessed with him because, I mean. She's programmed to, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Uh, or essentially well, that's she what just, she's told, but she's going like, I feel happy. Like she's she's also. I don't care what that is. In in the last movie, like the only person she ever saw or interacted with was Shinji. Mm-hmm. Like he tried to bring her books and he tried to be nice to her, and she just kind of confused the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. But now she's kind of learning humanity and wants to be around him and make sure right. that he's okay. Like he, I like that he the 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 cassette player is still a big thing. Yeah, like symbolically yeah. that that's still in the story here. Um, She's trying to if, give it to him. If I'm correct here, that was the first line he spoke in the movie, I think. Yeah. Just there. What it you might have been. Sorry. No, what I was going to say is, what's the point of this movie? Like, what? <laughs> well, he's, <laughs> look, he's getting over his depression No, now. no, no, I know. But, like, yeah. what's the, what are we building to right now? I, I just see, because. We um, got two hours country. left, bro. Right uh, now. But uh, are, are, you, are you talking about, like, just the plot or, like, the, the meaning just, behind like, the movie? Not even the meaning behind. Like, I mean, I just want to know, like, what are we what going? What are we doing? What are we yeah. doing? Well, you saw them trying to stop the, 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 uh, these, you know, purify the world, like clean the world back to the way it was. Mm -hmm. You saw that earlier. Right now, we don't know. They're waiting for that organization. They're, they might show up. Sure. They're waiting for the next thing. Sean's bored. And then you'll know. I just want to know what we're doing. You know, I'm not mad. You're getting to know a little slice of life. I'm not hating this. I'm just thinking, like, what a, why am I watching it? You know, yeah. what is the point? You're you're getting to know the characters uh, as chill, you know, as as the Ava pilots, and also you're seeing Shinji get over his depression. Sure. Yeah, and and Gendo's whole crew, when we saw them in the movie before this, they were trying to end the world again with another impact. Right. And uh, right now, we're, I think we're just sitting and going like, all right, like, what's going on with that? I also get that you want to, you need to see this stuff. Yeah. In order to know what you need to say exactly. later, sure. I get exactly. that. You yeah. know that makes sense. But I just you'll you'll know in a minute though. Okay, what's up? I think too um, it, the way the last movie ended, Kaoru explained to Shinji like the world is all red and ruined, and you kind of did this, and now Shinji just like later that day or whatever is seeing like, hey, there's parts of the world that are still living. Yeah, I was gonna say that we they time jumped in the last movie, yeah. so we haven't seen any of like what right. Yeah. This is like the first time we're seeing the all first this. Scene, We've never it's seen like, the resistance. What's even the world? Why save it? Who cares? But yeah. now I see what it is. So yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get showing this. the value. Right. Of all I this. get it. This uh, is Village Seven, I think, or three. Ooh, I like all this stuff on the screen. 
That's fine. Yeah, like it says Ida. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so he, he showed after. just a minute ago that that pillar, they've got one installed in this village, and that's why it's not all red here. Right. Yeah. It's force fielding that shit away. Oh. And you've got all these headless fucking Evangelians Ava's. walking around. Like now, zombies. I'm bringing this up because I called this. You oh. did. We did a spoiler cast. Yes. D d fucking nine years ago and i predicted this and i was right i got to that part re-listening and i was like he fucking had it yeah is that gendo's version of human instrumentality third, third impact whatever yeah is sele always wanted to like yo surrender man's intelligence and fucking just be rid of all this shit and yeah you know whatever and die and whatever Gendo's version of it was no. I want to rival God. I yeah. want to take God down. I want to rival, you know, whatever. And so, what you just saw were these Avas walking around, and I think a lot of people became those. That's what. That's Gendo's why impact in the third was. movie you saw a bunch of like it almost looked like Evangelion hands coming out of the red earth. Yeah, and it's because a lot of people took on that form. He it, the the impact happening transformed people into a whole other form. When the Lillian, and that's what you're seeing. You were asking earlier, Sean, about like why what happened to people. Right. Like either they didn't survive or they became what you just saw. They're these fucking beings walking around. In the movie they call the people, humans or whatever, the Lillian from Lilith mm -hmm. a lot more than they ever have in the yeah. rebuilds. And uh it's almost like when they get coreized, they fucking grow into an Ava. Mm -hmm. But whatever halted it, stopped everything, all their fucking heads fell yeah. off. I don't know. <laughs> we still don't know. Yeah. But I like that they're talking now. So she's What's asked, the name going to be? Now I'm dying to know. <laughs> yeah. See, Porcupine or Hedgehog's Yeah, I can't kind of believe I didn't on. make that connection. I, I didn't get That's it till so like funny. my third viewing. I got it <clears> my first viewing. Tsubame is the chill, the child's name, right? But now Asuka had a peculiar question. Uh, yo, where's Ray? She doing all right? Yeah, why? Huh? No reason. Yeah. And something is not quite right. Oh, See? No. Shinji's suit said, this is brutal, oh, too. Oh, fuck. That shot is fucking brutal. Yeah, it makes me sad. Shinji's suit, it, you could actually read it because it was a close-up, and it was like battery minimal yeah. suit functions will cease or something. Yeah. Root chakras. And she saw that quantum ray back where she realized, like, I have to be an LCL. I have to be it. No, yeah, she, she can't survive. She outside. can't survive outside the fucking headquarters. Oh, but and that, all that, but she was doing the best here. Yeah. I know. Oh, those old ladies are really sad. Their bath buddy's gone. I know. <laughs> Their bath buddy. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, oh, that sucks. Because at this point, she knows, like, I could haul ass back to Nerve and maybe get in the fucking my test tube again. But what's the point, you know? Well, she's got a taste for life. Well, yeah, but my point is, like, is she? but she's not living then. She's in the test tube. I know. Ugh. Terrible. I love I these know. establishing shots. There is such great art throughout this entire yeah. movie. You, They really... The only thing I have a question on is this credit thing. You know how they pronounce it in the English dub? Uh. Credit. Really? Yeah. It, everything's German. Well, you know? either way, though, it looks like that logo was added later or something. Yeah. Like, it's like mm. not in time with it's kind of like vibrating differently than the rest yeah. of the art. And it's like, did they censor something? Like, it originally said, mm. it's almost like they're they're doing some like world peace shit. Like, they replaced it. Oh, the yeah. Logo. Like, maybe their original logo is like, oh, this happens <laughs> to be a copywritten thing. Yeah. Or so they did a quick, you know. That'll be know. fixed in the 4.44 Blu ray. It was just the Amazon logo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah. You know, Amazon really helped us out <laughs> here. <laughs> Would Ray die? No, they're no. just going to like. This is like a, a mask. Mourn grave. his yeah. father. Yeah, it's just other people. Oh, his father, because uh, not Shinji's father. Yeah. That's Gendo. We don't like him. No, got it. We still haven't seen Gendo. So. See, so Kensuke is talking about. You know, my dad survived third impact, but then died in an accident. Uh. And I, but I never got to talk to him like I wanted to. Shinji, don't you have a dad? Like, yeah. shouldn't you? Why don't you try talking to him? Yeah, Asuka's like, yeah, good fucking luck with that. <laughs> right. And he's like, but still. That's a foreshadow that I just picked up on right yeah, now. Yeah, definite foreshadow. Do you have a dad? Do you ever talk to him? It's like, hmm. Okay. That's going to be, that's going <laughs> to be saved in the old back pocket. Fucking train nerds are going crazy in Japan everywhere right yeah. now. Yeah. Ah. What do they call them here? Foamers? That's the L24789B. 
Oh, oh it's the kitten. Oh, she's oh, so happy. Oh, oh, that was a good moment. That's so good. That's almost like when she smiles as she saves Shinji as, you know, she opens yeah. his entry plug. The rare Ray smile. Yeah, you get one a movie. Ray. See, there's another shot. Like, open reminds me of Data. <laughs> yes, yeah, a no, yeah, a little 100%. bit. Yeah, a little bit. Especially here. This blew me away. I'm like, no fucking way they put her. No way. Yeah. In the classic, the classic outfit. It's blushing. <laughs> so cute. See what I mean, though? FLCL shit. Yeah, th- th- this is what I mean. I think, yeah, with people being transformed into this yeah. other kind of form or whatever. And then however it got paused, whatever this impact is. There's those glyphs that we talked so much about in the spoiler cast for 3.0. Trying to keep this area clean and study it. This was such a callback to the manga for me. The design Uh of this character. You see what name was on that suit, Sean? No, I didn't. Wait, who's that? Look at that Band-Aid on his cheek. I don't know who that is. (laughs) Wait, Classic. They'll show you. Sean, you're going to want to hear the name here. Oh, Kaji. Oh my God, but shit. how is that Kaji? It's Kaji. Because you know what happened to Kaji. Son. Look, Sean, read this carefully. Read this very I, carefully. I can't read. Yeah. But his name. Uh huh. Masato and Kaji had a son. He'll be 14. Oh, 14. Guessed oh my it. God, and that's the age. He knows nothing about his parents. Wow. That's Masato's wish. Oh, man. And. The- Oh, well, Real quick, there was a chapter in the manga that was a flashback to Kaji as a teenager going oh, through wait, a terrible... Wait, wait, what happened to Mr. Kaji? He died. Sean, go. did you read that? Sean. <laughs> I was reading the chat. What did it say? I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, Sorry, Garrett, you were saying. You were saying. I didn't mean to interrupt. He had a Band-Aid on his face in this prequel chapter. Yeah. Not a prequel, but it, it was just something different in the manga that the mm-hmm. show never had. You see Kaji as a young person, and he has a Band-Aid on his face. He's like this rough kid. Yeah. And they gave him that character design. Like I think Sadamoto's art still came through in here. Interesting. Yeah. Uh that's pretty. Yeah, we're gearing up now. But those suits are also what the nerve personnel wear when they're like cleaning up Ava spills yeah. and like angel attacks and stuff in the previous movies. Yeah. It's weird that he's got those. Yeah. Great Damn, shot. Damn, dude. Yeah. But I do want to say what was said there is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he barely knows his parents because what Kaji died, right? And but then Masato, where's Masato? She bounced. Oh, she felt so bad about what had happened, or or she um didn't you know thought it'd be better to you know whatever. She's off doing the thing. She can't face all the shit that happened. She lost Kaji. All this world-ending shit that happened. Yeah, they blame Shinji, but Masato was like the one pushing Shinji to do everything. She yells out and shocks everyone. Yeah. Do it for you. Do yeah. this for your own selfish she kinda bears. She kind of bears some responsibility. And so she's kind of another Gendo in this where she's off, not with her kid, not doing whatever. She's hiding herself behind the glasses oh, with yeah. the thing. It's the cycles that keep happening. Um, she can't, fa- you know, she becomes another Gendo because she can't face life. Is, she can't do that. Is the 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 hole in her hand because of like the the lance thing? It's very stigmata, yeah, which is right? his symbology. I don't think it, it, it to do with means that. anything just more than to just look cool. Yeah, to look that like she's something's Dying, going yeah. wrong. With I her. see. Okay. Yeah. These four sayings are like all the things that Hikari taught her. Like why yeah. you say good night, why you say good morning, why you say thank you. This scene's awesome. Yeah, this, this is, is a good scene. Yeah. A good scene. <laughs> yeah, it's a great scene. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, egg or whatever, like, still floating there. Yeah. I like that they cut to that still a lot. Yeah, it's the impact just frozen. It's in arrested development, maybe yeah. just like Shinji. Ooh. <laughs> like oh, can't think of another thing. Symbolically, like him giving her just that name back yeah. to right here is uh, 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 he, he, that's major. He gives her her agency back to her. It's almost like you know, I know you were not that Ray that I saved. Yeah. In two point oh, but you are you you are a Nami. Yeah. Uh oh. And that's all she wanted, I think. Yeah. Is just someone to confirm that. Oh no. 
and they managed to get her back oh. in the original plug suit for. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Was she wearing the it was a plug, plug suit? Here's in other something movies? that's never happened yeah, though. What she one. says here. Yeah. Oh no! Is that fucking? <sighs> she, she never said that before. No. This is very. That she actually. I know what's gonna him. fucking happen. I'm yeah. not happy about it. Have a good moment that's They're, like aggressively brutal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And gnawing at how loud that yaw, and, that baby yeah. cry is, and too. it wouldn't be. This was a cool visual yeah. too. I guess those are souls or yeah. something. Oh yeah, yeah. I never yeah. really thought totally. about it. Well, like you when the s- angels explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and an end of yeah. You know, honestly, I yeah. never made that because kind of, an end of Evangelion when they when they you know the world it happens yeah. to the world you see a million of little crosses like that. Yeah, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be an Ava finale without someone exploding into orange goo. Yeah. How <laughs> LCL? I'm gonna say funny. Yeah. Is that that Shinji's finally like getting better and yeah. she's like, well, wait, what? before I get yeah, better, Ano oh, just wants to <laughs> check this out. <laughs> he just wants to hurt us. See, uh, so that, Sean, it hurts. Will Will the the Masato's like rogue group or whatever? They're showing up now. They're in that flying <laughs> ship, okay. the Wunder or whatever they call it. They're coming in, and that's what they've been waiting for. Like, all right, what's next? What are we doing next with them? They're coming in. That next carrier coming up. It, it has all these unit two like shoulder pylons as yeah. it's like anti grav like yeah. propulsion like everything we talked about in the three spoilers like yeah. Vil scavenging Ava parts to build everything yeah this all is paid off in this movie yeah I, I like that his like clothes to like I'm ready is just his normal like school yeah. clothes yeah yeah <laughs> I'm the ready classic Shinji <laughs> shitty shirt and yeah <laughs> I'm ready to go was... I'm dressed like a fucking schoolboy. <laughs> I love how fast this transitions too. Oh, oh they no. tased them. I'm <laughs> I'm Shinji Akari. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna come, this is how you come. Here's another uh, unfamiliar that? ceiling. That's Toji's sister. Now a plot oh. a, a plot thing in the original series was that Shinji crushed a building that like took hurt, her arm and hurt, leg. Hurt his sister. You know, you didn't see her. Right, yeah. right. And in, in this one, that didn't happen. She's okay. She's like the medical officer for Vil. Yeah. She works with him. And she's kind of in charge. In the last movie, she was in charge of keeping Shinji, like, you know, healthy. They just pulled his ass out of unit one and, yeah, you know. So are they going to make a new Ray? Or what? She just she can't be gone. There were there were a bunch of them. Gendo's whole operation had a bunch of clones that they got um, destroyed. Yeah, but that was like the most active one. But there's still a bunch around. Yeah, she's coming back. But it's, it's, that's the thing. It's not the same one. Yeah, it's, it's not the, even the one he it's saved. It's not going to be the one that we like so much. The one that Shinji really likes is the one he saved in 2.0. <laughs> this part really made me sad. It's like they're all happy he's back and they just put him in a cube. Because yeah. he is he is still. <laughs> considered a threat to the world's yeah. safety <laughs> like yo this guy's the homeboy started third impact we can't be doing that you know and so, so they're locking him up why what how is he gonna do it again like how would he if just, he gets in an ava they're they're yeah. all yeah. worried when, if he gets in an ava bad shit happens when that guy's in a fucking evangelion right so they're like yo lock his ass up okay but in the last movie they put an exploding collar on him right um, <laughs> this is an exploding room yeah, the, the, yeah. <laughs> for whatever reason Shame and cube we didn't ever see before that the other Ava pilots, like, we, I didn't know Asuka had to wear a DSS choker yeah, until this got movie. One too, yeah. So it's a thing that Masato does to, like, any Ava pilot. Yeah. Like, hey, final precaution, I need to kill an angel if it gets into an yeah. uh, Ava unit because we can't be having impacts. Yeah. So everyone wears a collar or Damn. lives in an explosive cube. This is cool. This was, uh, yeah. Like, they're in space. They're oh. above the Earth's the way, atmosphere. You know, the animation, the CG blends with the like. It, this looks really good. This yeah. Looks, yeah. It looks. Yeah. There's a couple parts later, Sean, and you'll see where it doesn't. Uh huh. And I think they are absolutely doing it intentionally, and oh. we'll talk about that later. There's a lot of argument on okay. what's intentional and what isn't, and I have my own thoughts <laughs> on that. Because this. The show in the movie, uh, End of Ava, it, it went to different types of animation. And I like that there's callbacks 
to yeah. that. Like this movie goes into different types of animation. Yes. This movie, what I think is so dope that it does just in its execution, it uses every type of fucking medium you can. <laughs> yeah. You'll see. Anything that can produce footage is made in this video, is used, and I think that's really cool. I always compare it, Sean. The way I feel about like Kojima as an Artur is how I feel about Ano, and mm -hmm. he's had 100% control over his thing, and he really does make this his fucking art. Mm -hmm. They're drinking piss. Yeah, yeah, they are drinking piss, by the way. Confirmed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you piss in a Mr. Coffee, you don't get taster's choice. Spe speaking of which, I think I actually might need to do that. Oh, so, uh, I'll allow I'm going to do, do, do that real quick. This is good so for me. Garrett provided a this lot of interesting This is a good girl-on-girl girl action. You're going to miss it? All right. I don't know what you're saying. Uh... Asuka went to go visit Mari in her oh. fucking bomb, <laughs> her, her bomb room. Okay, so they're stuck in that room. Okay, yeah. her room makes me really sad here. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh, she's no. hoarding books. I don't know. That just makes me sad. Yeah, that's not where you want to live. Mari's exhibited all this uh, behavior and hints at her being like way older, and uh, she keeps talking about reading all of the world's knowledge. And it's like, mm. damn, she might just as well be able to do that. She's very motherly, but also like physically affectionate towards Asuka. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I also normal. think like they don't get a lot of human exposure. No, aside from each other. Right there. Oh man. And there's Misato. This and was something. Oh. Yeah. This this interested me that like the real reason that this big ship, this big arc, exists for Will. And why Kaji, you know, uh, essentially stole it, which yeah. they took this ship from Nerve. I mean, they scavenged everything and they stole this ship. And they retrofitted it to have all these seeds from everything in the world so that if an impact happened, like at least if shit starts over again, we can send these seeds out into space and they'll come back to Earth and we'll have watermelons yeah, again. like a Noah's Ark kind of situation yeah. here. Which that that was like, okay, that's another like big thing. Like Kaji is built up as this noble, heroic, died to save the world or what's left of it. Mm. And he wants to save everything from humanity after an impact. Uh, why is she dressed like M. Bison? <laughs> That's you her gendo what, look. But you see what I mean? She's kind of become like it's it's happening again. She's kind of becoming another gendo. Yeah. Where she doesn't want to confront that maybe she had something to do with the impacts. Like she's the one who motivated Shinji to do that. She's got a kid now and she feels guilty about the Kaji died and everything happened in the world. So the, I think I really think Eva is about repeating cycles. I think she is, you know, it's like here's another, you know, person who's not confronting reality. That's that's what Ge I mean. That's Gendo's whole mo was like he couldn't face his own son. You know, mm -hmm. they couldn't communicate. It was simple as that. And I think that um, there, it's definitely intentional. They're making her look like you know she's hiding behind the glasses. And right. She's hiding, yeah. You know, um, she really only has interaction with. Ritsko in these like early scenes in this movie. She doesn't talk to anyone else yeah, in the crew, really. Yeah. Aside from commanding them from the uh, the deck here. And it is a good point. I do want to recognize, I just saw that in the chat, uh, that it is interesting that, th I love this visual of, they're just scraping Mount Fuji yeah. off the map. Yeah, so they, they just got kind of confirmation like, hey, Nerve Headquarters and the is this the black moon of, as they refer to it? Yeah. Is, is like leaving Tokyo 3 and heading to Antarctica. See, Sean, yeah, see, they, they yeah, have we just got a bunch right. of. They got four, by the way. Mm -hmm. right, sacrificial offering to the vessel of the atoms. And they called that Mark 9, you know, a vessel of atom yeah, in yeah. the previous movie. Uh, the animation there of like Ray's eye yeah. all up close is like a totally different style as well. Sean, this is what we. Oh, I was going to say earlier, I saw in the chat somebody uh, mentioned that Ava and Fast and Furious went to space in the same year. It was kind of fun. <laughs> anyway, I was just going to say, Sean, now you're seeing, now we're seeing, I don't know if you've caught this, but Gendo and this whole thing that you're seeing floating through the fucking sky, right. they're heading towards the South Pole where Second Impact happened. Mm -hmm. So. Vil is like, yo, why are they heading there after him? 
Right. So yeah. now they're all heading to the same place. The South Pole. That's the what's South happening. Pole. Where, you know, in the rebuild movies, they were like, they show four like sets of wings in the air. Where in the show, there was just one angel, Adam, came out of the fucking Antarctica, you know? Now we got like these four wings. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah. I think that all happened very different. In very this. different. Whereas in the original show, in the original show, they yo they unearthed something in the uh, Antarctic, and it w- oh whoa this big lance, and then Adam and all that. I think in this, they opened the the oh, oh there that's, oh, right. that's what we were watching. Oh, okay. this, <laughs> that animation up close too of how you cut hair is like so spot on, and yeah. of course everything's like exact, of course mo capped and everything. That's so cool. But yeah, I was going to say, I think in this one, it was not something they just dug up. I think that they went down there specifically to open the gates of hell yeah. and look says. into the chamber of guff and out there came and out came four atoms with four lances, which are guardians of the chamber of guff. They were yeah. guarding it from being manipulated. And also there is, they don't make this to- totally clear, but I think there is a fifth atom the godlike being, the god Evangelion, and that's what they made into unit into Unit Thirteen. Uh, see the reactivation of Unit Thirteen. They're using it as a god, yeah. to rival God itself or whatever. Um, Does he say like slay God? Oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To to do what man was not meant to do. They shut it. See, everything so far has gone to Sayle's scenario. That's what he just said. But then, as we saw in the third movie, they shut Sele off. They said, thank you for everything you've given us. We got our own plan now. I'll take it off. from here. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, Sele's plan was to, um, no. well, you'll see in a little bit, they'll talk about it, to sit at the throne of God and accept a new form. And, and Gendo's going, no, no, I'm not going to sit at the seat of God. I'm taking God down. I'll be God. I'll be God. We're, we can become a God-like being. And... Um, go further than man was ever meant to. So are you with us on that, Sean? Yeah. Are you Do you following? like we're inside the aircraft carrier what? type, you know, <laughs> the Vunder? <laughs> what the well, f- keep watching and make, make oh, a little, okay, a little more that. sense. Yeah. I'm jumping around. Yeah, yeah. The Vunder has this like anti-grav system that we saw in the last movie, but now they seem to just be like, no, we fly this thing through space. Mm-hmm. Like they're up above the Earth's yeah. atmosphere this whole time. They're getting a real shortcut here. Like... um. They're doing that Virgin Galactic shit. Yeah. What's that? The thing I really like about this movie, maybe this would help Sean, like, if you really boil it down, it's like, they're just trying to stop these dudes from destroying the world. Right. That's yeah. pretty much, like, it's pretty much sure. A to B plot here. Yeah. These are the two deck officer guys from, like, you know, the original crew, right? Yeah. The dude that played the guitar and then uh, m- the guy who loved Misato. Yeah. And they worked with Maya. Yeah. I love that they're roommates. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that's cool. we're still fucking getting through this fist bump. I, that was such a cool shot. See, and they're talking about when they rose up against Nerve back in the day. That's Kaji's m- she, to remember Kaji. She wears that. Yeah. And we get a little glimpse here of all the crazy shit that happened. Those heads falling. So, I love all the skulls. That's yeah. fucking sick. This isn't important to the plot of the movie. Sean, next thing I say, you can even just ignore it. Oh, I, not, I was paying attention last time he said this. This is all we get, but this is insane. <laughs> but this is stuff we never saw that happened in the 14 years that mm. Shinji was asleep in Unit 1. Now, I don't think it's actually important to the plot, but. From a lore perspective, what I think happened, this is what I've gathered, yeah. is that Shinji started Third Impact, and then they stopped it. Karu came down. But what I believe actually happened is in that 14 years he was gone, yeah, it was stopped, but I think, from what I've gathered, uh-huh. that happened, all of Nerve was like, yo, Gendo, Futsuki, fuck you guys doing? Get the fuck out of here. They left. Karu and Kaji ran Nerve. Right. Don't be distracted. I'm, this is important yeah, this stuff. is important stuff. This they important got new stuff suits. I'm saying here. Sean, they got new suits. They're holding on Kaji, stuff for a long Kaji time. Kaji and Karu ran, ran <laughs> shit while they were gone. And then Gendo and Futsuki came back right. and did some heinous shit with Lilith to like, yo, Shinji started Third Impact. We're going to fucking finish it. Yeah, we're going to keep even, going. And an even bigger actual Third Impact happened and Kaji sacrificed himself to stop it. 
Right. And that's what we just saw a glimpse of there. Now, all you need to know for the plot of this movie is Shinji did it and they stopped it and everyone's mad. But I do think in the lore, it seems like something happened. Another, thir like Third yeah. Impact was continued while he was asleep. I don't think Shinji is as guilty as you know, he thinks he is. But yeah, but, but it's easy to blame the dead guy. Yeah. He was mm. gone for 14 years. It's easy to blame him. So Kaji died to stop whatever Gendo did, but mm. did that uh, Kaoru who came down, mm. did he die too? Because <laughs> that's, this, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. The Kaoru that Shinji knew in 3.0 seems like a new Kaoru. Yeah, we've seen definitively in in the first movie we saw that there are multiple kaurus there are multiple coffins on the moon yeah and my question is yeah when kaji stopped third impact did kauru die with him and i feel like if it is a new kauru then that makes sense why he's working with gendo and futsuki yeah because he's just he... like yeah i'm you know i'm helping out yeah and they said we could why would fix he go the back world. to them yeah I, if it's the same Karu, I just don't understand why he would go back to working with Gendo and Futsuki. So maybe people out there... This is one thing I actually well, do not know. He he always worked... When he was born on the moon or whatever, It was uh -huh. he was Sele's boy. Yeah. They sent him yeah, down. Yeah. So he never really did work with Gendo and Futsuki. So in 3.0, he just is. Mm -hmm. It makes me think he's, a, he's another one. Because mm -hmm. one died, so the next coffin opened. Mm -hmm. And you get a glimpse of this and the cycle... In mm -hmm. this film. This scene's so cute. It is. It is. She admits this. Yeah. And this is kind of new frontier for Evangelion is yeah. people are actually communicating. Like, like, oh, she, I mean, Ray said that to him earlier. Yeah. And then and Asuka, Asuka was like, yo, I, you know, I, I, I liked you. All right. Anyway. And he doesn't know what to do with these feelings. But she feels better. <laughs> Which is yeah. so, like, it's just perfect for... <laughs> I really recommend watching that Ano documentary. Yeah. Because it, it's so insightful about like what that guy had went through in his life. Yeah. Is this a flashback or like yeah. just a this happened a in little bit. Yeah, he's just yeah. thinking about him. That's like when he fixed his Walkman and gave it back to him. Yeah. But yeah, um, Again, mm. a lot of that lore stuff that I'm bringing up is not necessary for this. I like that she's got the actual iPad Pro. Like they, <laughs> it straight up has the I logo know. and everything. But um, <laughs> we got Wonder Swan. We got iPads. Yeah, Suzuki. What, what's next? Yeah, that's right. I, I love Yamaha oh. piano. Thing? Yeah. What, what were you saying? I love in the scene coming up when they're like going through that like white shit and they start saying we've gone through stuff. We're we're not being blessed by the angel. Like they just start making shit up. Oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the lore <laughs> runs deep. It's not all necessary for the story. It yeah. all but, is meaningful though. Yeah. Like <laughs> it just like there's like a single sentence that like if you didn't know what was going on, it makes no sense. But it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. there. You know, Adams. Uh, can pass through these areas, yeah, you know, yeah. but Lilin, things from Lilith can't, but they're using Kaji's anti, you know, L energy pillars. <laughs> yeah. So they are using like technology to go into like, yeah, the, they're the, um, those born with sin yeah. and they're treading where those born with sin should not or yeah. some shit like that. Yeah, or they'll yeah. get blessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's him using all of that Judeo Christian iconography yeah. that is just cool. Yeah. You get to see Dead Sea Scrolls, I think, for the first time in this movie. That, yes, you'll see it soon. And that for me was like, thank you, payoff. please. After talking about that for 20 something <laughs> years, you can finally look at them. Thank you. That was always part of the lore. Um, this is some Battleship Yamamoto shit, right? Yeah. That he's obsessed yeah. with. Yeah. I was about to say the next hour is some trippy shit. So if you want, want to pop your CBD now, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's, it's, did you take your caffeine? Yo, I was like, <laughs> Okay, I get what's going on when we were back in that town. And <laughs> yeah. that, once we left, it's just been, oh, okay, this is what I was expecting. Yeah. Like, it all looks cool, but yeah. fuck. So they just ejected the seed pods with, like, everything. So right. Noah's Ark. In, in case the world ends, now at least that shit's out there now. Yeah. What, what is that shit? This is all, oh, like... Oh, all the seeds of everything that they got. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Seeds of life. I understand. Yeah. I like they look like dandelions. Yeah. yeah Sean, Sean... But they have fucking, like, this, AT field This propellant. is a relatively you know, kind of transitional part of the movie. So that's why I'm, I think it, it was a good opportunity to like talk about some of the lore stuff. Right. Like not, mm -hmm. not a lot's going on. But again, like Johnny was saying, I was surprised the plot is actually, the lore is complicated. The plot really isn't. Right, They're no. still chasing after him. They're heading to something's about to go down at 
So some Antarctica. world These are shit. all the seeds of life. They're ejecting them before. Now they're entering the atmosphere for the final showdown. So, so like the whole world is fucked. Right. I yeah. see that. So where are the seeds going? They're just hanging staying in space. Up. Just staying yeah. in space. In case yeah, something in happens case, to the world, yeah. they're out there. And then they'll replant things. Yeah. Potentially. This looks cool. You know, if it needs to. So needs there's to like your four, you know, and the, fifth the, halo. The, yeah. Understood. And that's what was opened up when they looked at. <laughs> this is when they start saying those sentences that make no sense. They're yeah. opening the gates of guff. Yeah. Guff. Yeah. <laughs> the chamber of guff uh, is opened. I wanted to say what, what I was saying earlier about yeah. the the in in this version of Ava. There's four atoms, and I think that they are. Gu- they, I think there's a line they say Return at one of the point. Jedi. They're guardians no. of guff. Like yeah. they were Last meant to Jedi. be guardians. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, do you think they stick around every cycle of <laughs> Shinji doing this over and over again? Maybe. And this is accumulated like the fourth fucking round. Maybe. And there's but, four now. But what I wanted to say was, you say later we see the 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 Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah. There is definitely a fifth being with four arms on that scroll. That's the so the, yeah, the, 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 the like God among the Adam among Adams, the top one yeah. is is definitely like unit 13, whatever, you know, they it, use to make that. This is the big reveal that like, yo, we stole the Vunder from Nerve, but they yeah. still have their own ships. Yeah, yeah, there's other ships. Now, this is what I'm trying to understand. Are, yeah. it, I think... E- each ship is one of the atoms, right? Yeah. Well, they there's like, a lance, like they were right? made into. There's four rays that we saw. Yeah. There's four ray clones. Mm-hmm. And you know, you need a ray clone to pilot an Ava. Mm-hmm. And we know that they talked about in 3.0 that the Mark 9 can control the Vunder, the one they stole. Okay. So the Mark 9, 10, 11, and 12, Whoa. you got four pilots, yeah. you got four Ava units. Mm-hmm. Those four Ava units ride in the fucking... This is like Megazord shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, they ride in the ships. Yeah, yeah. The Mark 9 through 12. Right. And then the Wunder has Unit 1 inside it. As its, to, as as its, its energy... Yeah, energy As its source. S2 engine core. So, yeah. Sean, in their ship that they're right. piloting... The, and the ones... The good guys. The, the good old, guys. Yeah, they've got, like, a got husk of, they've got the husk of Unit 1 in there. And that's their... That's power, power supply. Their power warp unit. core. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, that's that's exactly it. going to keep yeah. using Star Trek references. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, not too far off. Dude, the music got, like... It's like... Yeah. During this part. But this is a 70s, like... Like uh, he was obsessed with that uh, battleship Yamato yeah, like series, like Captain Harlock shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, this is a track from a '70s Tokusatsu movie, "The War in Space." Okay, there we I'm are. Told. Ava Infinity Swarm. So these are like all the souls of the Lilin yeah. converted to Avas. Yeah, these are all converted uh, souls, or you know, that whatever half, that, that happened during the impact. They're like half trans. They're like stuck in this impact where it's yeah. all paused right now. Still. Yeah. Again, we're heading towards the South Pole. I oh, I think what's going to happen. I think they've pierced the. <laughs> I, I think they're like. Yeah. I think they're in the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is like, yeah, like near ground level. Yeah. What were you saying, something, Johnny? No, I was just. Uh, I love this part because it literally, like Sean says, feels like Star Trek. Yeah. That's the fucking Enterprise. It's very yeah. But like all Damn, the that thing? all like the blasts and, and AT fields, yeah. like these ships all act like Avas, yeah, or angels, you know. Which is, is you know, I was like the wonder kind of looks like a whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like it. Yeah, yeah. it's making whale noises. <laughs> this is I nuts. agree. This is nuts. <laughs> to propel themselves, though, I noticed like they deploy AT fields and stuff. Like uh, when they do this flip move, the halo appears above the wing and propels it. Oh. Boom! Like they've just mastered how to use Ava yeah. and Angel technology. I think Gendo's using Angel kind of stuff, and they yeah, that's what I'm saying. Using, like, He's got Ava's. all that tech. I think I think Sale in this version gave him gave him a lot of that. Hey, how, here's how you fuse Adam with Lilith and get the most for your. Action. So they're going in the middle of the Earth. This is inside the Earth, correct? They're going into a, a deeper layer of shift below the black moon. This is where second impact happened. That's their headquarters okay. thing. I it's think they're going down there. <laughs> this is like yeah. getting close to the atmosphere in in the spot on Antarctica where they caused second impact. Yeah, and they're dragging this big corkscrew thing called the black moon with that that upside down inverted pyramid. I guess is like, you know. Nerve headquarters yeah. or whatever was yeah. under it. Yeah, nerve headquarters is now floating. Yeah. 
But yeah, some they're about to pull some kind of ceremony shit down here and still kind of don't know what they're... Mm-hmm. But we're thinking it's trying to get fourth impact. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what that's what Gendo's calling it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Some kind of event to end to end the world or do something. So with finish it. whatever. With the other started. impacts, the world was fucked up, but not ended. Right? Not like, totally. It seems like we're still like whatever Kaji stopped, it paused it again. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like he can't finish the job here. No, yeah. No. Yeah. So it, it, all of that was paused. That's why you saw shit sick. floating. It was like right. everything's just like paused. And Gendo seems like he wants to finish the job. This yeah. this firing a fucking warship as a fucking Whoa. nuke or whatever. Like, I love the obsession with like old technology. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah. What were all those ships with the satellites floating down there? On, that's not part of Will, right? I don't know. See, so Unit Thirteen is essentially a god, and they, you know, they haven't reactivated. They want to do the thing. They, Whoa. they want to. I love know. these guys. Oh I don't yeah, know if these guys. So look at bad. these. These fucking Avas look dope. Gazillions. Yeah, they're like skull Avas. So this is just like. Yeah, Sele gave them so much tech. Like, you saw assembly lines of shit in Nerve HQ before. Yeah. They can make this much shit. Yeah. They surf in on aircraft carriers, too, by the way. That's so dope. Uh -huh. So they're all rebuilt with the shit they got in Paris. Oh. Yeah, this new unit, too, I also need to figure out. It's fucking sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a picture one yeah. today, and I was fucking dying over it. Yeah, these guys are almost kind of the new mass production Evangelion. Yeah, I was right. gonna say they, they were kind of white because they're independent. They're yeah, all oh, running those on fucking things. Yeah. They're all running on a, like a dummy plug system or or an S two engine of their own or something. Damn. But it's like Gendo's made all his Avas Adam style. Yeah, like with the skull face, you know. And were you gonna say something, Sean? No, it's just incredible. <laughs> it, just looks, <laughs> right? it just looks fucking nuts, though. And I love that when you get one, they turn into the cross. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, this movie kind of parallels a lot what happens in End of Eva. Like, to me, this is kind of like when As Asuka's fighting the... Oh, yeah. I never thought about that, yeah. Johnny. Yeah. It's her moment to flip out, and yeah. the animation's way beautiful. And again, look at, like, yeah, she's like part... <laughs> they use Jet Alone parts to remake her... Uh, her like oh, I said, she take your CBD now. <laughs> you know what, Johnny? It's symbolic too. She surfs in on the fucking battleship yeah. and it breaks in half. Uh, like uh, when she rises out of the lake and it breaks in half. Think about what happens. Yeah. It follows yes. the same thing. You're exactly yeah. on that. Yeah. But yeah, these things look freaky though. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ew. I hope they make figures. Ew, of them. fuck that thing. <laughs> it's trying to bite her. <laughs> and they, they're all Mark 7. Yeah. I think so. That's what they I say. I think so, yeah. yeah. Series, series 7. You know, Ray's original unit in the in the other film was a Mark Nine, so it's something we just hadn't seen a previous. And again, remember, to create an impact, to change the world or destroy it, whatever yeah. you want to look at it as, you need a godlike Eva being uh -oh. and an angel. Oh no! You need them together. And this, yeah. and this, the, you guys, I got a bad union. feeling about this thing. <laughs> this shit is so fucking cool yeah they just form that like it, weird cg it's like it a reminds drill me, it reminds oh, yeah. me of uh matrix revolutions when all <laughs> yeah. the squiddies get together to make the like, arm of god <laughs> four-eyed crony this was sick yeah. some dance like you, you want to win type yeah team up. yeah i didn't even i didn't even make that connection that's funny uh a lot and of it shreds them oh, fuck a lot of anime movies have been using cg recently ano's the only person i've seen where he's like using it as like a medium like to make like weirder shit. Like yeah, I've never make seen it make like it artistic yeah. as yeah. opposed to cut a corner. Yeah. Yeah. Simplistically weird too. I yeah. love that she grabbed her at the last second to lower that, you know, yeah. impact. It's fucking all out. I love that design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so sick. These things are freaky. Yeah, too. these things are crazy. Now, what do they call these, Garrett? Do you know? I think these are like more forty-four or like but Mark yeah. fours. It's like unit one colors. Yeah, yeah again, it's, it's all spares. They're just using all that tech that they have to make fucking. <laughs> so this is creatures. like unit one repair yeah. parts. They're now this is, fighting. Yeah, <laughs> Gendo's so good at Ava's. Like he can automate them. They don't need power supplies, and he's got all these spare parts. So he, he just like he's mashing shit together. Like whatever they got, whatever will do the trick. Do it. 
So fucking good. <laughs> that sound effect. Yeah. Is really funny. That that taking off backwards and blowing yeah. him up though. Oh. I like how she's essentially landing like this is like terminal dogma shit. Yeah. Like the way she splashes down even. Yeah, yeah. All right. So there's unit 13 up there. It hasn't oh. fully reactivated. Oh, that's, so they got that's back in the ship. They no. got it in stasis. You know, using the lances, the lances keep them in place. Right. They're going to use that to do some do some kind of shit down here. Yeah, she even just said that. Oscar's going to put a fucking end to that. By the way, the the 13th one looks like unit one. What? Yes. Yeah, it does. It's it's just they tried to make a better unit one. You know, like Gendo made that on, you know. And again, it's like this is like a true god Evangelion. It's like made from potentially an ancient god. Stake it like a vampire. Yeah, really. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. And she says that's like a, uh, it looks like a plug, but it's like a. This part. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Something I think what's what's coming up here is the most beautifully animated part yeah. Yeah. of the movie. I I really think that. So Unit Two will not go forward because it's almost like deep down Unit Two knows. Don't do this. Yeah, bad shit is about to happen. Don't yeah. do this. Yeah, because that hasn't realized it yet. That's not her AT field. Oh, no. yeah. She says specifically that's Unit Two's AT yeah. field, and it's not 13's either. Yeah, Gendo is definitely scheming something to happen so yeah now we've seen they have two ships uh oh what's down there this image too was like uh okay that looks like the Nazgul lines yeah Uh, right that's a legitimate this is a legitimate biblical thing yeah I think and with that little portal down at the center so this is ground zero of second impact Calvary the gates of hell are open (laughs) This is where, you know, Masato's dad kind of did second impact. The whole Katsuragi experiment. Yeah, he witnessed it. Yeah. See, all of them are going into their impact mode. See, all the atoms were the guardians of Guff to make sure no one went in there. But they didn't see this shit where the Black Moon split into two pieces and turns into like some unpredicted other impact. Yeah. Well, they're turning into other lances. Yeah, yeah. All of the atoms all of the lances, all of the things in motion to open the gates. Like that's all Gendo's things are coming together. Yeah. Now in the lore of the original Evangelion and just biblical lore, the chamber of Guff was where your soul resides. Souls would come from. Yeah. It's almost like where things, everything started. And I think that that is the case here, but I have, I think there's more of a meta angle to it, too. I'll talk about it when we get closer. Okay. Can we address that the Chamber of Guff is a stupid name? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Hey, take it up with the Bible, bro. Yeah, the Bible wrote about it. I'm just saying, yo, Jesus, think of a better name. Was that is that a biblical thing or a Jewish thing? Uh, A lot. They take a lot of stuff from the Dead Sea Scrolls, which is like uh, stuff they found like a long time after the Bible, which I think goes into like Kabbalah, which is like a weird okay. sect of Judaism. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's a weird shot. <laughs> yeah. <We'll, laughs> I know. Time she- to go all out. Oh, we so, had triple six for beast mode, now triple nine. So again, Uh-oh. she was in unit three, Sean, in this version. Fuck. When it was infected. <laughs> what the fuck? She was infected with an angel, and w- that was keeping it at bay. Yeah. And yeah. now Over she is going. Years. Now she's going. Fuck it, angel mode. Let the angel out, and her choker goes. Fuck. There's an angel, blood type blue. Yeah. So she is going to succumb to just full angel. But they had to know that she's got her her unit too rigged with fucking angel blood. Yeah. Yeah. I think they know. They just didn't expect her to like use to this, use this right? mode. I think full injection. Look at this, this shit. This is sick. I, I love blood. Yeah, she's just going Super Saiyan, essentially. Essentially, essentially yeah. <laughs> you can really see how little of Unit 2 is left there yeah, and the rest yeah. of these Jedi. It's just a husk parts. in this robot. Yeah. The music is incredible here, too, by the yeah. way. But the animation here, I think, is the best of the movie. Oh, that's so Oh, sick. so this is like how Shinji regrew his arm yeah. in Unit yeah. 1. And it, oh, this is so fucking good. 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he went like angel mode there. Well, her, her beast mode transition is like one thing, but this like angel mode is a whole nother. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. Because it's surreal. Like. What's even happening? Well, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Super Saiyan. She is going to stop Unit 13. Even if she has be, to be an angel. No matter how far she has to go beyond. So like to fight Unit 13, she's got four arms. And when Unit 3 infected her, Unit yeah. 3 grew four arms. Yeah, Remember that? Yeah. It's so almost it's, like that's a sign of the beast yes. or something. <laughs> and she's using like her AT field to open Unit 2's yeah. AT field there. Uh-oh. Fuck. Uh-oh. Guess who's awake? Her hands are just wakey, gone. wakey. Whoa. So there's her, you know, Ava's soul exploding essentially, yeah. right? That cross. Yeah. Fucking well, lances fly uh, off. Homeboy is. So this is what Gendo wanted. Yeah. 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 He was like, "Yo, she's gonna rip that thing out of her eye." Yeah. He well, wants her to be an angel. So what causes the impact is an Evangelion, you That's know, so and sick. an angel. Mm. Well, she she's became an she angel. just handed an angel to them on a silver right. platter. Yeah, I love when his arms uncurl and yeah. he just has like kung fu hands. Absolutely, it's one of the old angels that's just been like locked in her eye with that pillar. Yeah, unit. F it's angel he, number four. He right? was waiting for that to happen, and now it's taking her over. Unit thirteen. This is the laughter too. L Notice right there, yes. Kauru was down there. That's yeah. Kauru. I saw that too. I'm His soul is still in Unit Thirteen from when My he died. Original, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're trying to figure this out. Is that like the original Oscar? I think so. Okay. I think this is like Soryu. Who was that? The Oscar from End of Ava. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know if we're going back that far, but uh, as you'll see later, Oscar is part of a series. Yeah. And that might be the original, but it might also just be a mental trick that That's version cool. that uh, that uh, you know Unit Thirteen is pulling. We don't know. Yeah. Either way, it's seducing her. Her choker is about to kill her. Yeah, and it she just her saves out. her. Well, save her. Yeah, but they got her. They got I her mean, plug. Yeah, Kauru pull. Kauru's in Unit Thirteen. Yeah, he pulls Asuka out before the yeah DSS choker can kill her. Yeah. Her uh, her Ava's dead. They're fucked. <laughs> was it was it Karu doing a generous act there, or was it just part of? I feel like it's part of what Gendo wants, right? Like he's yeah. he, like, he definitely they're going to take that plug, and like Unit Thirteen's going to take that in. So now I think like Gendo's taking back his fourth ship. Yeah, he needs four. Uh, the four atoms, atoms for, the four a, for an impact. He needs that to yeah. fully get through the gate. Each ship with its own unit and a ray clone inside. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was saying, though, about Asuka fr being from End of Evangelion, and I'm not saying I don't believe the time loop theory that this sure. has all happened before, but I'm just saying in that moment, I don't know if that's necessarily what they were calling Going back for? to. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's either yeah. that or it's just her original. Yeah. But I think she's the only one left in her line. They entered like a bunker system, right? Yeah. Away they're all locking shit. they're all locking down. Yeah, like their entry plug like their ship's, been, their ship's been taken over. Oh. So they're beginning the process, the artificial recreation of Lilith. The forced conversion of Black Moon to become spears. The stage is set. So they have four spears. So four, yeah. four ships. We're looking at the completion of fourth. Uh oh. He can float. Intruder by the way. on the bow deck. <laughs> that was oh. a big reveal. Like, yo, he yeah. floated. Yeah, homeboy is like doing DBZ shit. What's happening here? Do you think there's anything symbolic about Shinji's eyes purple right there? I, oh. think, I think so. I think it's an awakening. I, I like how like massive he, this is too. That he, it's shreds. like he felt it. Like he felt it. Get, Daddy showed up. Yeah. And Shinji went up. Oh, it's time to. Mm, I'm, it's time to do something. <laughs> yeah. I I love this scene. This might be one of my favorite scenes. 
And this parallels a lot what happened in End of Ava as well. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, uh, yes. But it may, the tables might have turned a little bit. Especially, yeah. you know... Uh-oh. Yeah. This part. Fuck yeah. you. Now, she was shot in End of Evangelion. Yeah. If you may, re- I don't know if you ever saw that. Such song, a redemption, but. man. Yeah, I learned from you, bitch. <laughs> 50 cent shit. Yeah, survive that nine times. Um, This right here, though, is something I've never seen in a movie before. Where someone literally picks their brains up and puts them back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gods need no barriers. What the fuck? The design on this is like so out there. Yeah. This is what Kaji stole for him and gave him in the previous yeah. movies. Yeah. He, something to turn him from a human into Yeah, he a consumed God. something. Yeah. In this in these movies it's the key of Nebuchadnezzar. It wasn't him fusing his hand with Adam. Yeah. Yeah. But like what what did that do? Now check this out. Enable the deification of humankind. This is what he's talking about. What he wants fourth impact to be is no, we're going to we're going to rival God. We're going to tra- man is going to become something else. Be- literally become Ava. See, and now unit 13 is taking in the angel, the angel Osaka. There it is. Fourth impact is starting. This is what he wanted. It instantly trans back transforms back into that white like yeah. god mode 13. Yeah. How are you feeling on this now, Sean? <laughs> we come you know, and going. What? What? what are you I sometimes I'm like that's eh, pretty good. And sometimes I'm like ugh, ugh. But it always, and I'll say this at the end, looks very impressive. Yeah. So that is a constant here. Yeah. Get ready. Like you should have taken your CBD already. You should be kicking in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kicking in by now. Okay. And she's kind of laying it down. Like yeah, See? everything's being converted to a core. Yeah. And merge with the these Ava's infinities. This is the start of more Ava movie. units, right? So he'll he'll kind of explain the impact shit here. They're purple this time. Okay, here we go. There we go. It purify the oceans. That's the impact. Purify, purify the earth. earth. Fourth shall purify the souls Ooh. and materializations of souls. These are human souls becoming these things. Cast aside our vessel. It's real deep. That's a final right. See, Masato's dad was he, the one that kind of checked out. He was the one who studied Second Impact, and I think he, st- I think he caused it. Yeah, caused it to happen. <laughs> His raving gibberish. Okay, so check this out. Only two paths away. We're finally seeing the Dead Sea Scrolls here. Yeah. The exterminate. So humanity has two options. Mm-hmm. Either be killed by the angels, and the angels are what rules. Yeah. Or we kill them and sit at the seat of God. That's what the scrolls say. Mm-hmm. You must choose one of those two fates. And what Gendo is saying here is, yo, that's what Sele said. I'm going past them. There's a third option. Fucking take down God. Why are we going to be subservient to a God? Mm-hmm. We can become that. We can you know, become beings to rival that. And that's what we're going to do. And that's what he wants to do with fourth. Impact. I mean, he's kind of already done something with whatever he's yeah. turned himself into to where he yeah. can like play fucking 4d chess this hard. Yeah. But you are blind to what happiness has to offer. That's one thing I'm confused about. Uh, Garrett, that shit is that's like the tree of life. Yeah. That's yeah. like end of Ava tree of life. Yeah. But shit. why is that just like hanging there? Or is I, he like, Whoa. I think all they're descended down into like right above this fucking chamber of guff gates mm-hmm. of hell. He pops unit one back out of the bunder. But I wonder why the tree of life is just chilling there. You know, at end of Ava, they had to like turn unit one into that. I wonder why that's just that's one I, thing I, yeah, don't, I don't know, know. is why is that just uh oh. So there how do you get down there? Yeah, exactly right. He just fucking takes See, as off. soon as the doesn't, sun shows up. Doesn't even look. So now like Kaoru, Asuka, and Gendo are going into Unit 13. We know that... I thought he couldn't be in one of those because he wasn't... He was too old or some shit? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's a fucking deity at this point. He wants They'd to. swan dive into he's the He's just of, merging with it. Yeah, just, he's not, he's not even... Fuck? He's not getting so in the cockpit cool. to fuck around. He's just going in. They're going, like, past the doors of Guff, like, into, I think, what they call... It's like a yeah. They, they, had a cool they give it a name. It. Yeah. It's like an infinite 
possibility the imaginary universe. yeah i was gonna say like the yeah. imagine yeah but I'll, I'll i have some thoughts on that yeah. too we'll go into that in a second so what is this kind of showing like yo now the purple infinite avas are coming as this new thing that's going to take over the world i think it's yeah i mean i think it's just you're seeing the process go his further. dad's just drinking yeah <laughs> that's how people cope with things you know i think that's what that shows They all trust in her. Oh man! See now it's emotional because we saw them chilling. Yeah. I love there that. it is. They have a fucking anti-universe. Anti-universe. <laughs> now again, I mentioned before the Chamber of Guff was always known in lore as where souls came from. I th- I think in this movie it's deeper than that. I think it's literally where all of this came from from an imagination standpoint. Yeah. Oh yeah. It might be where Fuck. the characters were thought of. For this anime, right? Yeah. Oh, right. And we'll see more of that in a minute. Oh, but she in instantly meantime, she yeah. she knows to how to use this beast mode and all the avas and can like fuse their parts back onto her. Yeah, which is just like the Zerul fight kind of stuff. But right now, Shinji is having his finally is waking up to this shit. <laughs> This is the first time they've spoke, really. Yo, mm-hmm. if you're going to go, like, he wants to go down there. If you do that, you're going to fight Gendo. And right. it's finally, like, we're finally having the realization that we needed to have, which is your fucking dad was the problem. Right. Why does he need to put it on? You don't need to put that on, bro. No. Nah. To, to pilot Ava, they need him to put uh, that on. Oh, okay. Like, that's his, he's willing to. The burden of Evangelion is on him. See? And everyone's like, what? you cannot do be doing this. But... I, I really love that it's all boiling down to it starts with the parent. The yeah. f- bad father was the root of all this. This is a cool scene, too. Yeah, you know, this girl's life was ruined. And they had orders to shoot to kill, you know, if he mm-hmm. ever gets in an Ava again. Mm-hmm. Even she is. We got multiple people with guns (laughs) (laughs) trying to stop this. Like, they were already. Well, that other girl was saying, you know, she doesn't trust Masato because she just keeps letting him do whatever, you know. And I just, I kind of thought when I was watching it, it would be funny if Shinji was straight up capped here and then it just went on in a different (laughs) way or something. They killed him. Uh, oh shit! Oh no, no! Just like End of Ava. I know. Yeah. Like yeah, that I've seen before. Just this cycle. And she's starting to confront kind of everything that happened. Yeah, and that she's they, okay with it. They wouldn't have survived in the first place if he didn't. Yeah, get that's Evangelion. what I'm saying. Yeah. I am entirely responsible. She's finally like owning up to that. Mm-hmm. I still have custody. Just like when she took him into the apartment and they lived there and all that stuff. She's like, yo, he's under my custody. Right. She, I'm, in, I'm entrusting everything. Mm-hmm. Her glasses like, I take are the off. full blame. You're going to shoot him. You're going to shoot me too. And of course, it wouldn't be an emotional scene without a twisted mangle to Ava Unit 2 head yeah. behind. <laughs> common, common theme. But like, I love this. Part, no. Like, where is this in? Yeah, how the that people keep showing up? <laughs> <laughs> Juno in the chat said they just got here. Can we start it over? Can we, do you think we could <laughs> just real quick? And they're really into butts. Yeah, <laughs> it's the plug suit. It's a good. Uh huh. Yeah, for Sean, butt shots. Yeah, there's your explanation. Oh, okay. So, uh, she ate. She's got a halo now. Right. She ate the Mark Nine. Like mm-hmm. all these, all these atoms, these holy uh, Avas uh, in the ships or whatever they need for this uh, impact process. She's fucking eating them up. Like, yo, I'm gonna be able to like go down. You know, normally you can't go down there. I can because uh, I'm t- taking in atoms. Yeah, yeah. So like, and Shinji just put his straight up OG plug he's suit. He's got the OG plug which suit. It was in Misato's quarters. I think that's telling that she held yeah, on to that. Yeah. I love this line. Yeah. One thing you can do for your father is pat him on the shoulder or kill him. <laughs> Kaji's words. Kaji's words. Yeah. They don't have an inappropriate kiss, Sean, so you'd like this scene better. Yeah, th- this probably flows a little better than the we'll do the rest next time. <laughs> yeah. 
to a 14 year old boy. Yeah. Did you ever see the Photoshop somebody did online where it was Misato sitting at the bar with Chris Hansen in front of her? <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. said in this chat log, you do I the did. rest when you got back. I did see that. That's great. That was a nice moment, though. Yeah, they just have a hug. That was, I mean, just the saying that her kid's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's all she needed. They finally, like, made good. Him being, like, in the entry plug with Mari here yeah. as they dive into the so Ava imaginary. Yeah. So we all we always heard about again the um so with the Chamber of Guff you saw an end of Evangelion they were they would they were taking souls there we've never actually gone into it yeah. to see what's in there I think it holds a great significance in this and really on a meta level yeah it does like what a lot. is this animation yeah that is weird this is where things are. They took it down. She she ate unit nine basically, so I can navigate in here. Is what she's saying. Yeah, I can exist down here because I've got I've got all the holy shit I need. <laughs> but you know, he's not interfering with her sink at all by being in her entry plug. Yeah, <laughs> this <Cool>. shit is. <laughs> but quantum teleportation. Yeah. Uh, Genda, or uh, I'm sorry, Shinji has a totally different energy here now too. Oh yeah, he's just like, yeah, I'm good, confident. Yeah, I'll oh, go now. And look wh whose name he calls out w is really important here. Like how he opens this portal. Yeah. Yeah, it just I got seems it. like he's someone who has accepted his death, and he's like, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's all fine. He's he like, all right, I figured it out. He, and I think he understands. Like, they've never been down in this area, and he just opened a fucking portal. Right. By like, calling Ayanami's name. Yeah, he just has an understanding now. He's like, he, all, he's almost realizing, yo, this is fucking anime, and I'm the yeah. star of it. I got it. Yeah, because we're going to be I think, I think there's some meta shit happening here. Yeah. I really do. So now Gendo's, like, in Unit 1 with Ray. Right. And Ray's got long ass hair because it's been fourteen years. Yeah, that's a version of Ray that's been in there mm. uh, since the second movie. Shinji teleports his ass in there just by calling out to her, like, "What?" Uh oh. I think Unit One might be back. He grows all his shit. Back. Yeah, bitch. The animation on that too, his legs popping, red eyes as well. This this is classic Evangelion right here what they say right here because mm -hmm. in the third movie they say oh his sync rate is zero right wait a second <laughs> i love shit like this it wasn't zero but the closest value to zero his sync rate is fucking infinite oh my god <laughs> yeah shinji's back yeah now what dad oh man yeah pop what's up That's bitch? so good he takes the lance from his dad and he transforms it to a spear yeah Transformed to Cassius, the spear of hope, whereas Longinus was the spear of despair. Yeah. And I think that's symbolic, too, because Longinus was the lance they used in the old show, which was what? Miserable. It's miserable. It yeah. was all misery. You know that, Sean. I sure do. This so, fight scene. Yeah. So the dad, like Gendo, yeah. the miser miserable fuck, has the spear of misery, whereas Shinji is now positive, and he's got the spear of positivity. And these are clashing forces. Yeah, two and, of these four and I, spears. And he I needs. think it's. I think that's all meta. I think this is uh, fucking Ano dealing with like, how do I want to take this series? Like, how do I want to take my own thoughts? You know, and and what succumbs to what? Anyway. So he knows his wife still. You know, the soul in Unit One. And Ray's in there. So his with Shinji now. Okay, so he's in Unit 1, Shinji's in Unit 1? Shinji's, Shinji's like in Unit 1, in unit one. Gendo's yeah, in Ray, Unit 13. 13, that looks like Unit in. 1. Yeah. And Gendo and like Kaoru are essentially in but there. But Rei is with Shinji in Unit 1, and she's been there for 14 years. Essentially, Because yes. Shinji was in Unit you know, 1 also for 14 years. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, that Rei and Shinji are like super tight because they've been trapped together for 14 years. Or no? No, because Shinji doesn't remember like okay. it's a blink of an eye for him. Okay. That's kind of not important to the yeah. thing, the Ray okay. thing. Is gotcha, gotcha, it. gotcha. So he said, we're heading towards the Golgotha object. Basically, the core, see, what is this place? It's the world of your memories. They're so deep in this chamber they went into, right. their senses can't perceive this anti-universe. 
so they make it familiar. Yeah, this is what we've seen before. Yeah, yeah. it's just we're, it's like yo, show. it's right. just gonna recreate like memories, whatever it's gonna be. But here's what I think about where they're at. Yeah, they said we're, they're going into where it all started, where this all came from. I think we are now in the imagination of the creator of the show. Yeah, because that's where they really all came from. These yeah. creators are these these creations. These characters were all made from imagination. And they talk about it in a second. That's they the say, old logo, by the way. Yeah. That's the they, show logo. But in a second, they say Ava Imaginary. Like, they even start... You'll see... But this is all, like... Rem, this is the first yeah, episode. Yeah, the first episode. Yeah. And I think you'll see more as this goes on. We are deep in the imagination of Hideaki Anno, the creator <laughs> of the show. I really believe that. And what does he love? He loves Godzilla. Yeah. He loves... Ultraman. Ultraman. And, you know... It's just uh, <laughs> the duality here is insane. I love these mo-capped robots. Yeah, <laughs> like the animation. I mean, they might style. as well be people in yeah. suits. Right. Yeah. Exactly. At first, I'm like, "What the fuck?" But then it lends itself. I'm like, "Why yeah. are the buildings moving?" It makes like, sense. Yeah. Why are they moving like that? Like that's weird. That looks yeah. cheap. What? You know, I didn't <laughs> get it on that first viewing. Well, it's not. It's like set pieces. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Especially that shot was what made me go like, yeah. wait, what? Like, like in End of Ava, how they have like set lights and things and imagery. Yeah, and this is scenes. not it's like this a is real place. Yeah. This is just like, yeah, out. watch this. We're in his mind. We're in Anno's mind. Look at <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> look, Truman Show. Sean, no, no, Sean. There. Evangelion in five minutes. They're yes. doing a tribute to our video. This Whoa. is exactly what I thought about was Sean, you <laughs> you and I in unit one and unit two yeah. Yeah. fighting, trying to synchronize back kicks on yeah. the stage with all our buildings. Yeah. What the fuck? Masato's a part of Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Like, what the fuck is so happening good. here? But this is what I'm telling you. They're they're fighting through our fan memories of the fucking show at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at this shit. Damn. Yeah, These are sets. It's all just. They're in the world of concept. They're in the world of of, of just cre <laughs> creative, uh, uh, you know, creation. It's it's you know everything. Ray's apartment. All the memories we have. I love their size doesn't change. I, well, I guess it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All their moves. It's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Kaji's watermelon field. See. Kaleidoscope. Embodies hope. Yeah. Embodies despair. I told you. This is opening, CBD, bro. This is like <laughs> that hand gesture and stuff is like from the theme song opening of the TV show too. That yeah. unit two, so unit one's sick. doing. Yeah. It's useless. There's no amount of power that will stop him. But this is what I love. This is like my favorite kind of revelation. Yeah. In the movie. I mean, the commentary here. I'm getting quiet just because like Gendo's explaining it here. Yeah. <laughs> weird shot. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get enough weird shots in Evangelion. Yeah. They both opened their mouths multiple times. That's just a really good shot, I guess. I didn't catch the uh, unit. Th uh, there's like a right. You'll see right here. It's almost like the shot of unit three when it happened. Like memory gets knocked yeah. against yeah. the hill. Totally. It's it's only there for a second, but that was definitely a unit three. Like it's all memories of parts of the show. And he, he he has him end up fighting in that village that we saw, you know? Yeah. And, like, ruining the village. And it's only until, you know, we're here that Shinji realizes. Wow. Oh, he's remembering... Conversation he had. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's right. Words. See? This has never happened in Ava before. They sit and have a fucking conversation. <laughs> I just what, need to What talk I to you. love about yeah. this as an ending to the show is the final battle is not who has the bigger robot or the bigger whatever it's literally yo i'm stopping we're gonna talk huh. mm -hmm. 
you know, and they're bringing up, oh, the lore, oh, what about the spears and what about, you know, all that. But this is becoming more and more irrelevant as it goes on. Yeah. We'll make a new spear. Fuck it. Yeah. Send them one. Yeah. How, exactly how? Uh, no, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And it's like, well, it doesn't make sense. Ah, it doesn't matter. She says, like, oh, we ran some numbers. Uh, Ritzko, I know you got this. And she looks at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got it. That's what I mean. It's like <laughs> the lore kind of starts to drip away. It's yeah. complicated, but in the end, it kind of almost doesn't. It all matter. makes sense, though. Like it's all there if you really think. Yeah. Hard oh, about yeah. It. There's interesting stuff for sure, but because they kind of say like, yo, if Gendo can use this technology to do it, then I can. Um. She. So they're also talking about the ship was being converted into the way that it was when it was owned by Nerve, and they they call it like Bube or Blue Bube. I really thought they were talking about Michael Bublé. <laughs> oh wow! No, I was like, oh, they're getting him involved. That. That's that's good. I mean, the Wunder is like an Ava, so it's got, like, spine cord, you know? Yeah. Like, running throughout it, I guess, that they're going to use. They're going to use that to create a new... But I, I live for this, like, weird biotechnology Yeah, and I will, I, will, I will actually say a little criticism of this movie. I kind of do wish there was more... The Avas are, like, fucking almost like people underneath armor, and I would have liked to have seen more of that. Show me an Ava without the armor yeah. a little bit more. I wish there was. Okay, so this part cracked me up. Yeah, this, this <laughs> cracked me up too. I felt I I was losing it at this point. <laughs> Black Lilith. Black Lilith. I'm sorry. What? It's like the Who? opposite of the other Lilith, I guess. <laughs> Evangelion Imaginary. Yeah. See what you predicted the existence of this Ava. This is interesting. An Ava that is imaginary and fictional. Only humanity, with its ability to believe equally in both fantasy and reality, can perceive it. I think there is a commentary here on. People being so into Ava and talking about it and being into it so much that maybe it's almost like a real thing to them. This is the only this is something that only happens to humans, you know? Yeah. And maybe I'm even pointing a finger at myself. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I see this. Uh, the lances go into it and it becomes Lilith and it becomes a scene from End of Evangelion. Yeah. That is literally the same shot. Yeah. He's rejoicing in that pose. Because too. I think Gendo here represents old otaku Ano here. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make a cooler Ava, right? And I'm I'm digging into my imagination. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna remake Evangelion the coolest thing. I can't wait for you to see this, Sean. This is what my this is one of yeah, my favorite this visuals. Rules. This is one of my favorite visuals Me in the too. whole movie. Shy guy I mean, right yeah, now. we it is turning into end of Ava here. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Dude, it's Mariel. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is definitely some stuff being said. Because a lot of people were like, yeah, why does this look like that? What the hell? What is yeah. it? I think old ma old otaku Ano is like, yo, it, I think it's saying something about remakes. Here's this big, realistic CG right. version of End of Evangelion. Yeah, and we're going to do that. And, and Shinji's starting to represent the other side of it like... Maybe there's other things we could say. What the fuck? Uh, just like Anna yeah. Ava, you know, everyone, all, all the... <laughs> yeah, these are all the <laughs> and, people. All, right. the, all the people are being transposed to, like, bad to bad CG. But I think... Yeah. But, what the but, fuck? But that's, that's cool, though. To, your, to what you're saying, Sean, these, uh, m these CG models here, yeah. those are actually the default body model in, I don't know if it's Maya or, like, some CG program. Mm. That's the default. Oh. Okay. But if you don't do anything to it, it looks it's like a that. default body. And I think they're saying something by, by putting that there. I think I, I haven't quite figured it out, but I think there's something being said about maybe like soulless remakes or like yeah. just repeating, you know, like here's a fancy CG version of, you know, remaking this that we've already done before. You know, I don't know. Here, Here's a big reveal. You know, when she comes in the room, she calls him senpai like. Like, yeah, she's got some history with him. And, and uh, you know, that Ava manga chapter has, like, her attending school with Yui and Gendo. Mm -hmm. Who is this guy? This is Fyutsuki, who works with Gendo. Okay, okay. And he's piloting in one of these ships. I see, and she found her way into there. Yeah, she's gone into the anti-universe in her angel-like unit, mm -hmm. and she's come to just kind of, like... Tie up loose ends with him. There's a lot of people do not agree with my CG theory. I'm I'm seeing in the chat. A lot of people don't agree with that. Hmm. But I I just 
refuse to believe they would just use the default model out of a you know what i mean like i just feel like there's there's definitely more to that yeah she call, he calls her mari iscariot like you know the traitor judas you know yeah because you know she did join up with will and you know yeah uh she is in that photograph that yeah. he showed shinji of his mom yeah which so she was a confirmed, you know, classmate of Gendo and Yui and like created Ava's with them. Yeah, we called that back in uh I think we called that in when, the, 3. When the third movie came yeah. out. We were like, yo, in that photo, she's in that photo with them. Yeah. So she's got definitely a That's why she's so good at unit eight and or any Ava, because she yeah. created Ava's. And that's why she is eternally, you know, like in her I don't know. I think she's a little older than everyone who's locked in at 14. Yeah. Body wise, but I think she's maybe in her late or early twenties. She definitely had the curse of Ava thing happen to her. She is, and she's been around for a young. She she was at the Bethany base in the beginning of you know two point yeah. But she'd been around a long time waiting to get in Ava's, and waiting to I think like save Shinji in the end. <laughs> As you see here, how good she is. The movie gets into like this meta thing, but I love at, at its core. It's like, oh, we're going to do a cool fight scene. Regardless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's even got the classic yeah. uh, Ava music here. The battle the classic, music, uh, right? Uh, decisive, decisive battle. Like yes. Yeah. I want to figure of this. I haven't seen anything of her God mode unit like. Eight plus nine plus ten plus twelve. Whoa, what do you think? Do you think I'm crazy with the CG theory? What do you, what's your take on that? No, I I, I like what you're saying. I, I like that. That sounds like cool. I didn't really think about the CG models at all. I just feel like again, they're just like they're just like default, yeah, uh, 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 detailless clones. It I just could, feel like it's something about creativity being yeah. said there. Yeah, it could be saying like you know, like the perfect being maybe is this kind of default, or like going back to your like soul form. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where are they gonna go? Abandon ship to what? Yeah, I know, right? I mean, there's still you know, there's Earth still is, village Earth is still here. Yeah, yeah, but they're like way village down yeah. in that village shit. Tree. Like, yeah. what does that mean? Fire them into space, maybe like that other stuff. You know, uh, maybe. Well, they showed that the barriers were still keeping even the purple infinity Avas out. Mm. So, yeah, if they if they leave the Vunder, they could just go down to the village. So even like okay, okay. their pods, their pods are shooting out. Okay, I they get have it. pillars on them too to protect them. Maybe even where they land. That looks like some Matrix shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Which I'm thinking, like, these things got to fly out from Antarctica and get, like, up into orbit somehow. It's going down with their ship. Yeah. Yeah. Well. This movie always feels like it's it's pushing to everyone coming to, like, their, their original form almost, like, their original look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you finally see her with her hair down. And she looks like Misato there. Yeah. Yeah. Like we've gone so far to different that it's like circling back. So this thing's got four halos now. Right, because it keeps killing these other. Yeah, it just keeps taking in and racking she, them all up. She took down all of the fleet, like all three of the right. the other ships. <laughs> and Misato's just got the Vunder left. Rest in peace, Adams. <laughs> Adams' song starts playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they never thought they'd die alone. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, we're starting to get, see that end of Ava style here. We're getting there. So, yeah, when she visited Futsky, he LCL'd. Yeah. This bl started blowing my mind. You're starting to see real end of Ava imagery here. And notice he said... I want to choose the world you rejected. Yeah. And here's him under the liquid, like like in End of Evangelion when where he's down Shinji there. Was. Yeah, where, where there's no boundaries and there's no whatever and all that. You know, he's like, this is the world you rejected. 
Um, here's like, you know, the only movie version. You you got the manga chapter that I talked about, but like, you get a little bit of Gendo as a young man with Yui in these scenes. You're realizing that the big catalyst for him wanting to do this was trying to make sense of his life because mm -hmm. he lost his wife. Right. And it's almost like he would transcend anything. Yeah, to even the kind he of like kill the world. To yeah, like to like, be with her like she was the only one kind of like uh validating some of his stuff. And without that, it's kind of like, oh my God, he'll go this far to like see her again. But Again, he can't confront fucking reality at all. Mm, yeah. And now, look, he's got his own little AT field. But h him being confused by that, is that showing that, like, you still have some humanity left? Y yeah, yeah. He ha he does, and he doesn't realize how much of his fear is based on Shinji, yeah. too. <laughs> and him giving him back the tape player, too. This, just... this, for me, was, like, bigger than the fucking, event, like, Captain America picking up Thor's hammer, dude. <laughs> Finally, we're getting a trip out scene in the fucking train and all that like we got in the show. Yeah. But it's Shinji going, yo, dad, what's your problem? Don't look. Don't don't worry about me turning it what on. What happened him. to you, dad? And it's never it was always track 27 and 26 for yeah. Shinji. It's tracks like one and two for Gendo. I just well, thought that was 28, 29. You start you see that, too. Like, yeah, you see it skip around here, which I still don't know if there's any real meaning to that. Yeah. Is that a real shot? And I love that line too. I never knew my parents' love, and yet I became a parent. Just that little line, it speaks to the cycles that repeat. It's a that's a theme in even in, in these rebuild movies, yeah. is repeating cycles. The cycle in this case is the cycle of abuse. He never knew his parents' love. They were never loving to him. He repeated that to Shinji. You know what I mean? It just kept going. And, and Shinji uh, turned into a little depressed bitch, like all the time. Like, <laughs> and, yeah, it, it would keep going. Um, and and you also see uh, that this story itself might be repeating. Literally, the Evangelion might be repeating. End of Evangelion might have happened before all this, and this is all, and the, this is all you know happening again. You yeah. know, but it's all like repeating cycles and trying to break them. It's and Shinji is trying to too. break that. Yeah, this is all... I mean, this is peeling back Ono for yeah. sure. Oh, absolutely. I think there's more meta in this than anything. So much. Yeah. I can identify with a lot of it, too. Like, I hated going to other people's houses and things like that. It yeah. Was, it would be like, yeah, I remember having those feelings this as a child. Is, this is definitely Ono fucking talking right now. Yeah. And it's all, uh, like, these unhealthy cycles. Better, rather than communicate what's easier, keep it to myself and, and fucking just devour knowledge and then the other thing you love is piano because it's a thing that works i can tune this and it will play that note and that's it he has control over and that, there's yeah. and there's no vagaries of perception there's no um questions to be you know what i mean there's no uh that gulf between people and communication that's not there it's like i press this it does this that's mari see that's mari yeah mari and futsky and that's Yui, you know, new class, uh, new new student, them. you know, is yeah. here. That's that so, whole. Sean, you never there's, saw this before. There's your backstory, which a lot of people kind of had maybe figured out is like, yeah, she has, she's as old as them, mm -hmm. um, but because of the curse of Ava, is still she lo still looks young. I see. So in losing this thing, it was the one thing that she was the one thing that kind of gave him more of an understanding of life beyond just the limited scope he kept himself to. And losing her did not make could not he could not handle that. He went further and further with his research until the point where he was going beyond life itself. Oh, the broken phone. Yeah. I love this shot here. And then looking back, he looks like he does in the old show now, mm -hmm. and now he looks like a kid, and now it's, it's him. That's just Shinji again. Yeah. And here comes Masato. I love that they're just straight up playing fucking Christmas music. <laughs> 
Joy to the world, baby. Yeah. She's going to stop this fourth impact shit. Just through their own human determination, they rival the power of a god on their own. Powerful stuff. How are you feeling, Sean? I am just, you know, trying to take it all in. I'm already enjoying that they're saying things in this fucking yes. show. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of <laughs> yeah. concrete movie. stuff. Like yeah, they, there's they, more they concrete say, yeah. things in it. And, yeah. like, this is confusing, and I don't get most of it. But yeah. I do, it, on a whole, get it. That's how I felt when I first yeah. saw it, too, yeah. And so, like, I'm not as mad as the last one where it's just, like, <laughs> yeah. nothing. And it's like, well, yeah, but you, this represents, like, no, I don't fucking care. Like, just yeah. tell, you know, like... So what Mari just said is we've got a spear. We've made our own spear from our ship that we're going to send Shinji. And this. This is some new spear. You can end this fourth impact shit the way it's going down now and rewrite the world the way you want to see it, Shinji. If we if you take this spear, mm -hmm. you can take charge of this impact and maybe do something positive with it. And we made this ourselves as people. We didn't do some ancient fucking uh, 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 ceremony. Mm -hmm. We made this from our ship. Use this fucking weapon, bro. And they send it into the... In, in, in the imaginary space that you're in, right. you can do whatever, <laughs> you know. And then That's Mari like, can travel there with him, too. Yeah, Mar the, Mari's in, yeah, breaking in there. The Keyblade. <laughs> it really yeah. is some Keyblade <laughs> shit. It, that looks like when you get a new weapon in Zelda, like it's like... Oh, Spins above you. Like, <laughs> do, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what's happening. This is fitting. All right. So we're so there it is. Goodbye, Misato. So that's the last, you know, God killing ship. May may Kill. the last sacrifice for her kid's future. And it's almost like he sensed that. Like she, that's her sacrifice to get him that. So he's got all of the hope of humanity behind him now. This, I love, I love, by the way, that? what's that? What is that shot? Like, I always saw yeah. all that stuff on a kitchen table or something. Like, yeah, that what was that? Maybe where they first lived after Yui died? Maybe. Uh, no, but he was a little, little, yeah, he was like Cluttered. that at that yeah. point. Yeah. But this that's why I thought maybe they showed that's the inside of their first home. Maybe or that was the room they were writing Evangelion. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Different animation here too on sh on little boy Shinji. Like, yeah, this this is a powerful shot coming yeah. up. Yeah, because that was a famous shot that was in the original show, but he never turned around when he know? walked away. It was always the one of him walking away. And I love this is an end of Evangelion song that's playing here, and I love that they brought right. it back this piano song. Like the he break. He realizes the mistake. Dude, yeah. Yeah. chills. This yeah. is major. Whoa. That, that was the root of all of it. Well, what, I'm getting all, choked up. All of the shit <laughs> know, that dude. Gendo set in motion with the Evangelions and all of Shinji's drama, it all started there. Mm -hmm. And the, symbolically... The two family members that could not understand each other. Symbolically, he gets off that fucking train. Yeah. And he kind of takes the burden. Like I feel like you know that, that Dat player is like the burden of it yeah. all. And, I think, and so what Kaoru is saying here is... All right, well, Gendo is at the core of all this. He was the one manipulating all this. He's off the fucking train now. Shinji, you're on the train. What do you want to do? <laughs> like, you're at the epicenter of potentially rewriting humanity. Do you yeah. want? What are you going to do? And that's kind of the seat he was in in End of Evangelion, yeah. and he took it a very negative way. And he says, I've got to sell the score for what my father did. <gasps> so Asuka was like, you know, in Unit 13, too. So that's kind of, I guess, why in the imaginary he can contact her and start having. Uh, yeah, I think it even goes beyond that. I think at this point, he, you know, he is. He can. Yeah, in this, in this I think space, it, he can kind of do whatever he wants. But I think in this space, it lines up that everyone he saves is in this yeah, space. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's true. They're, they're, they're all, they're all physically in some their form. soul. It, it's always mentioned or alluded to like, you know, what Mari says is like. Her soul might still be in there somewhere. It's yeah. like everyone he saves is physically in an entry plug in this negative somewhere space. Somewhere in there. Somewhere yeah. in either Unit 1 or Unit 13. Yeah. Um, I love th this moment because I feel like every character gets like a redemption here. Like, yes. Yeah. 
we get to see them all kind of like move on. Yeah. This is a sick shot. The only, the only thing I'm going to I am I'm going to criticize another thing here. Mm. Sean in this version of Evangelion, mm -hmm. we learn Asuka is like a series. Like there's a bunch of clones of her. Just like Ray. Okay. Yeah, just like Ray. And and what it came down to was the best one. Like okay, all, all of them were okay, mm. but like the one that we see in these Rays, movies is the best one, right? Yeah. That's why I showed them all disappearing from the computer screen. Yeah. And there was one left. It narrowed down to one. So that's She's Shinji the strongest. right there. Yeah. Shinji is a little boy. And that, okay. And it's Gendo. It's Yuri. And that's Yui, Asuka. Yui, Yui yeah. whatever. Yeah. Is them getting ready for second impact? Uh, it's, some, it's some nerve meeting. Yeah. But what I was going to say was, I don't know if the if the replications of, of Asuka, I don't know if that was a needed thing. Yeah. It feels like unnecessary amount of stuff and i also think asuka kind of gets sidelined in this a little bit uh i love Way this scene older. right here but i almost feel like it could go on longer <laughs> like yeah like the, the shit that they went through in the original show hey man that's the meta of it we don't need to dwell on end of ava yeah. what why she's fucking old right wait she's bursting so out of her plug suit. oh jesus we are back in this scene but <laughs> what's that what's it okay no, what were you saying? I just don't know what's happening. Like, why are we even seeing Asuka? Like, what is, what is this? Sh Shinji is visiting every one of these characters to kind of have a moment He's with them. He's making amends. Okay. Um, what I didn't catch the first time I watched is she's definitely older now. Yeah. She's she, bursting. The curse of Ava is over. She's See, she's like mm. too big for her clothes. She's like 28 now, I yeah, think. Yeah, like he's ripping them out of the Ava. Like, that was all like See, metaphysical. Yeah. Right? She vis He visited her and said, thank uh, you for... Okay. And I really think his message was like, thank you for communicating with yeah. me. Yeah. Like, you yeah. told me you liked me. Well, you know what? Back then, I liked you too. Okay, so he's going through and getting rid of all of his shit. Yeah. yeah. And saving those people who are still in this with him. Like, yeah. Like, physically, like, it showed 13 ejecting her entry plug back out into the world. Yeah. And yeah, now he's talking and to Kaoru. She, right. She's aged up. And this is the beach they met on yeah. in the original show. And I think all of this speaks to the existence of the original series and maybe this is all repeating, and maybe that exists somewhere in the space too of imagination or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is I think Kauru says like we're destined to keep meeting on this beach. Like mm -hmm. this keeps happening. You and you I, know, Sean. Like you know, maybe they they keep re remaking the story, or they keep you know whatever. And and Shinji's kind of ending it. I won't cry anymore, dude. Yeah. He's fine. You hear that? Yeah. He yeah. won't cry anymore. Wow. <laughs> So I think this is him kind of dealing with that. It's like, yeah, this story's been told, but you know what? You know, Kaoru, like, I'm looking at you as a daddy figure that I don't have, and you're looking at me as an excuse to like, oh, uh, I yeah, I gotta make happy. you happy. I gotta make you happy. And he's like, bro, you don't need me to be happy, you know? Like, here's where like the first Kaoru came down and like saved the everything, but then I, I don't, I still don't know. This lends to maybe two different Kaoru's. See, there, there he is rebuild. waking up, and look, all these other coffins that had been opened, all these other versions of And all of those him. to come. And maybe these are from other remakes of Evangelion that exist. Or or not, you know? It's kind of meant to be interpreted, actually. Yeah, and that was the Mark VI when they were building it. But either way, Shinji is telling him, like, yo, we're, we're bros, but you don't need me. <laughs> yeah. You can stop this cycle, man. Yeah. You don't have to do this again. Like, quit thinking about the other versions of you and, like, how are you happy here, you know? Like, think, focus on yourself now. And I think this is a flashback to the 14 years that he's Shinji wearing was gone. Stuff. Yeah, and he's, st and he's stoked. He's happy and Shinji wasn't even here. And I think, this is just, I, I've said this before. Yeah. I think if they ever do another Ava series, it's going to be about this time period. The 14 years. Where, where Shinji wasn't, Shinji was fucking locked away somewhere and they're just chilling. I think that way it'll have a totally different energy. Yeah. I'm, I'm sticking by That's it. That's interesting. It's going to happen. See, he's like, yeah, see, you can have a, you got a gig here, dude. Yeah, th these are the only kind of key scenes you get from what happened in that 14 years. Yeah. And then it's almost like... And he closes the door. Yeah, yeah see, Put so that that's closed. That, hey, that's in the other studio. Yeah. They're working on that. <laughs> get yep. ready for this shit, Sean. That, the, the baby doll is a representation of Subame. Yeah. And that would imply that the black plug suit Ray does kind of merge her thoughts with this original Yeah, they're Ray. all one person. Yeah. 
Uh, those are the mocap cameras they use to make yep. this movie. So they are literally in the mocap studio. Control, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. They're literally in the mocap studio they where showed, they made this movie. They showed the hanging Ava costumes, and there's TV show Avas. There's yeah. the yellow Unit Zero. And, I mean, and everything from just watching the show mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah. I'm going to rewrite the world one that doesn't have Ava. Oh, that picture we took. Uh, <laughs> that is so funny. They literally name draw after all these years. It was what does Neon Genesis yep. mean? The birth of a new world. New beginning, Neon baby. Genesis. That would be like Star Wars Episode Nine, being like, "Well, that this is going to be a fucking star." Look, and war. she's in her she's in her schoolgirl uniform, like at the end there. Everyone leaves. is leaving the studio, mm -hmm. like one yeah. by one. He's sending them all to to the new beginning. And as he said there, he said, I want to make a world that doesn't that with no Ava. And I thought this animation was so fucking cool. Yeah. Uh, or no, it's it's coming up here where it goes through all of the Ava's. Yeah. Yeah. This is impactful. So it kind of looks well. like, is he going to like self-sacrifice right, to make right. this happen? I mean, that's kind of how End of Ava happened, yeah, though, right? But no. The Tree of Life went in there. All this and, part is yeah, so you, sad. Yeah. Mom, you saw his, his mom. Mom. Takes, mom takes the bullet here. You saw her in either, I think, 1.0 or 2.0 in that weird looking yeah. plug suit. It, yeah. You know. And remember, and he says, like, oh, yeah, you were you were in me. Like, you were with me. Yeah. So, yeah, I finally understand. She's always in unit one. But but also in she's Shinji. she's just in Shinji, yeah. yeah and, that's what Gendo said. And Gendo said on the train earlier, he was like, "Holy shit, I was looking for Yui, and I didn't realize where she really was." Yeah, she was inside my son, of course. So here's the real symbolic. I love how it kills yeah, every. This, this is so sick. Fucking unit. It transformed unit two through all her modes <laughs> this, as well. This does take forever though. It's kind of I, I just love it. it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. it <laughs> this is a th because it's a commitment to Evangelion is fucking done. Yeah. yeah. Gone. All Remember your that toys? one? Gone. Remember that one? Yeah. It's almost like all the act Get breaking the all the action fork. figures. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, why didn't they do the arms? That was the character. The the yeah. creative choice I thought was interesting. It maybe it wasn't a complete just to be different thing. from End of Ava, I guess. Or so those are the Ava Infinites that are all like breaking apart now. Uh, I like people. <laughs> I like that this confirms something that people always debated about. Yes. Did third impact affect like animals? Yes, because <laughs> you, you see, see that everyone's restoring back <laughs> and it's like, oh, dogs. <laughs> Cow, a dog, a girl's holding a little kitty cat. Th that's oh, my favorite shot. So good. That's, Just the happiness. Sawyer and her cat. I know. Uh, Seriously, exactly the that. happiness of a girl and her cat. That's it. You know, like at end of Ava, Shinji and Asuka washed up on the beach, but like what happened to everyone else? Like in this new world, like there's the moon, there's the blue earth, and Shinji's returned all of humanity. Yeah. And oh, dude, and now the seeds are going to... Yes, everything oh. can come back. I, I love this because it's, it's really just Ano being like, I'm, I'm done with this. Like this is the end. Yeah, yeah. Asuka has landed on. at yeah. Kensuke's place. So she went back with him. So confirming more that like they do have some, some type they, of relationship. They become a thing. Yeah. yeah. There's all their footprints that the the people from the from the pods made it back. Yeah, and Earth all is the plug okay. suit footprints. Yeah. Now I have a theory on this this part right here. Watch watch the way that this goes. Okay. He 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 took Evangelion away. That is no longer a thing in this fucking world. Yeah. Now, but watch how this transcends. Look at the, how great the animation is. Yeah. I have a thought on this. Tell me if you think I'm right. Okay. Hmm? Background went away. Yeah, he's That's getting weird. into keyframes. Okay. Oh, now we're going. Now we're devolving <laughs> into a sketch. Now and now, you know, like we're just in sketches now, and then now it's storyboards. Yeah. Like it's like the movie is devolving, almost like was it going to end here? Oh. Like I, I just oh, think there's just a there's just a pencil sketch. That's yeah. it. But then watch. Then he notices her. Wait, animation's getting better again. Yeah, it starts to it's ramp an up Evangelion, again. Evangelion. Yeah. Wait. Wait. You know, you know what I'm saying. I love it's that almost he's like happy. the he's movie not was shutting down. Yeah, and now it's coming back because Aneva popped up again. <laughs> well, no, I don't think it's because no. of the Evangelion. No, I think it's because of her. 
Yeah. Uh, Sean, Sh- Mari is based off of uh, uh, Anno's wife. Anno's oh, wife is yeah. a woman with glasses. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And big boobs. Yeah. <laughs> but I almost, is it, I'm just, see, the animation's great again. See, so that's all the ones she might, ate. Yeah. Right. And she's saying, you did a good job, final Evangelion. Yeah. And then gone. That's the end. No more Evangelion. And it gets the cross and the halo. Yeah. But do you think it's the movie was going to end there? <laughs> like Mermaid. his story was yeah. going to, was it Anno's story was going to end there yeah. until she came into yeah. it? Or is it that he was just rewriting the world there? You know what I mean? That's interpretive. Yeah. But you just saw him. Now pop this is completely meta here. Yes. He's aged see, up. You're going to see some shocking shit here. You're going to see some serious shit. And everyone is in this shot. Oh, who's that? You know, I didn't know they did a different voice for him until like the it, second or third it's watch. It's the dude from Your Name. Yeah. Because Uh-oh. this scene looks like Your Name. Anyway. Oh, the, they? Now, notice this. Watch. Whenever you see, they would see the quantum ray, you'd see the birds. It was the opposite here. He saw that, then birds, and now they're not in that shot anymore. Yeah. They went off. Because yeah. they're both like atoms. Yeah. Look, she's older. He's older. We got <laughs> we got fucking old man Shinji here. Yeah. <laughs> he finally grew up. Now this is what's interesting. Look, he still had that collar on. Cuz a lot of people were like, if he's older, how would he have that? Why would he have that choker on that whole time? I don't think it matters. I think that's a total meta yeah. moment. It's that symbolic. Was, that was the burden of Evangelion, and she reached in and took it away from him. Yeah. She went, you're done with that. Come with me. And they're getting yeah. on a new train. Yeah. And they, they run new- out of the train station. And this is all real footage. Yeah. The people of, are. This is the town that Anno grew they're up. They're running away. Yeah. This yeah. is the city that he grew up in. I'm getting choked up. I know. <laughs> they left, and now it's a anime has ended here. Yeah, and we're in a fleshed out real world. Like, go live your life. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've gotten rid of my burden. Goodbye, all. Yeah. Of that Evangelion. that taking that collar yeah. off, I think, is like a heavy moment. It's, yeah. I think he had the burden of Evangelion on him for so long, and yeah, his wife kind of just came in like, "Hey, I'm going to take that away from you." I mean, whether that's really the right, yeah, is there's definitely sim- symbolism on a lot of different levels, but and then it ends on that kiss song. Oh my god! Um, yeah. I just want to say real quick, Sean, well, um, that poll that happened at the beginning of this, yeah, that's a bet. So whatever you say, they'll get those bits. So oh, if people get voted bits? Oh, oh, yeah, shit. so if no you voted, if you say you liked it or didn't like <laughs> it, those people will get. Wow, this is heavy. <laughs> now there's more to this yeah. decision. The definitive decision. Comes I mean, do down. you want me to give you my opinion now, or do you want to say your thoughts, or you know, I don't know where to go. Mm, I don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I I will say this. That's now my third time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I have liked it more each time that I've seen it. Yeah, still, I'd say that. still none of it to me holds up to like the fuck okay yeah the original show and end of evangelion is like f- a fucking pivotal work that is not this was never meant to like we're gonna top it it's more of a commentary on yeah it, i can't rank a reflection on it i can't yeah, even rank ava it's just yeah. all ava to me yeah and it's, it's it, all great i've loved it all yeah. anyway but i liked it more this time um this did so many things that uh were different and followed yeah. the path of how different 3.0 was yeah I, 3.0 was this Return of the Jedi moment, this dip, fucking dull, kind of sad. I think. Do you? I you? I think you guys have both said Return of the Jedi today when maybe I you meant, meant Last I, Jedi. I'm, I'm meant sorry. Last Jedi. I, repl- I corrected myself for the record. <laughs> you did. No, you did. you did. But uh, Garrett, is I'm that t- what you I'm, mean? I'm miss saying it's the 3.0 is the Empire oh, where oh, okay, it's okay. depressing and the fucking oh, okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. rebels are up against yeah. the wall. Luke gets his hand cut off. Yeah. Han gets frozen in carbonite taken away by Boba Fett. Yeah. You know, the whole clerk's line. But it's <laughs> it's that shitty, like, you, you know, Ava's so different and so fucking, like, that's a that's like a kind of downer movie, 3.0, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. Um, and then this is even 
the tail end of that down yeah. struggle that Chinji has, and then it's him evolving as a human being again, which yeah, is just and the find, cyclical, and finding just like even more of a a, a, a more human outcome than like yeah. what End of Ava has the sh- selfish outcome. Well, I Shinji just chooses. I just love that like the lore, you know Sean we were losing you for a little bit there when mm-hmm. we were talking about the lore and it was just getting oh this is almost the most complicated it's ever been yeah mm-hmm. this is worse than Lost. and I honestly <laughs> think that's intentional so that it can break out and go you know what it's kind of almost doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Like, like yeah. this came down to uh, really what it boiled down to was we got to just communicate like as people and talk and that's cool. And uh, I love that. I, I, there were a couple of people that I talked to that thought like, you know, it almost became too, too simple with Gendo. Like he just talks to Shinji once and all this comes out and it like, takes his power away yeah. and i'm like yeah that's the most realistic thing in evangelion <laughs> a fucking guarded person like that talks to his son once and becomes word vomit you know and and he's he that's all it took yeah that's all it took is just talk to your fucking son mm-hmm. and how much came out of that you know um i i don't know i love that aspect of it that's the most powerful aspect of the story to me is that um I think it answered yeah. enough questions that the rebuild movies like started yeah. kind of developing, mm-hmm. but it left some stuff like we still got just glimpses of that 14 year period. Yes. We still didn't get. And that was the one thing I said on our old spoiler cast was like, oh, I hope we get what happened in those 14 years. It's like, yeah. I got a couple glimpses of like, yeah, Kaoru running things with yes. Kaji, but you don't get a lot. I think that I, I'm, I'm stay, sticking to it. I think that's going to be its own show. I've heard that rumor point. from you. Yeah. That's interesting. Because Kara needs to keep, you know, if in Ava's so big, they'll, they'll do something. But Shinji is done. I think that I don't. I think that's. But is it. Ano done overseeing what this yeah. next thing would be? Yeah, I don't know. Um, as I just want to say, this is the second time I've seen this. Yeah. yeah. The first time I kind of was like really kind of dumbfounded by a lot of like the info. And I couldn't yeah. really wrap my head around it to get like, yeah, uh, emotional. Yeah. Uh, the second time, I kind of just like let it happen. Yeah. And I yeah. got yes. really emotional at the end, yeah. and I really, I, I really like the the meta stuff more than like the actual plot. Yeah. Like I just like sensing what Anna was feeling. Yes. Because I love that, like just seeing the artist kind of like peel back the curtain and be I like, agree, yeah. "This is my burden, right. and I'm over it. You should be over it too." Like, I know you love Evangelion, but there's more to this world, and uh, yeah. you know go see that yeah shin ultraman is and like, yeah and like <laughs> and like and like there isn't an anti-fan no like, no, no like no. message here not to quote raymond but um yeah. <laughs> there's an anti-fan message here he has fun in that space too when yeah she's yeah, doing yeah. the ship shit it's playing old tokusatsu music yeah. da, 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 da. like we can all have fun here we can enjoy our time here we but let's not obsess yeah let's go let's go do some other shit Let's go. You know, like I, I think I, I don't know. I yeah. think there's a good message to it. Yeah. Um. And, I just. Uh, I, yeah. I didn't know I would want a happy ending because I think at the time in my life I really liked how mm. down of an ending End of Ava is. Yeah. Yeah. And this is not that. This is yeah. tidy wrapped up in a bow. Yeah. When when I talked with Mariel, happy ending. When I talked with Mariel, she's like, she's like, did you feel this way? Where like when it ended, you were almost bummed because you want them all to die. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's kind of how Ava has been. And I did have that moment when it ended. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, I thought because I I like endings that will like wrap stuff up, but then give you something that's fucking upsetting too, a little bit. Like get the, the perfect. I mean, the whole but, old generation died. Like Misato, Kaji, right. Yui, Gendo, like Fuyutsuki, like they're gone. Sure, but. What I was gonna, what I said yeah. to her, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I felt that for a second, like, oh, give me a, give me a fucking more fucked up ending. That's what I love. End of Ava's ending, yeah. I love that. But it's antithetical to what this was about, which is moving on in life, finding happiness, and not fucking like having to debate it anymore. You know, it's like right. let's be done with Ava. Let's be done with Ava. We can't, you know, if it ended on some ambiguous thing, I think it would have been not in the spirit. And I I do like Shinji ending up with Mari as his baggage with Asuka is just fucking beyond repair. Mm. And Ray, you know, wasn't a thing that was ever going to work either. Like, mm. it, it does kind of make the most sense. Yeah. Um, where, uh, where Ray and Kaoru kind of 
go off, and then you see Asuka kind of chilling there on the on the platform in the early shot of the train station. Yeah, barely, but you know, like her plug suit landed over with Kensuke, and whether he's like a father figure or not to her, like they seem to be able to have a life off on their own. And yeah, she, it makes sense for Shinji and Mari, who um, who Mari was like obsessed with Shinji's mom. The, there has actually been debate if that's Asuka on in the train station. It's a woman in red with red hair. People people have zoomed that shit in and they're like, mm, I don't know, because this, this, and this, and this. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe they're wrong. Here. I think everyone's there on the train station. I, I think I think that too. They might be going to different places. And I, I but, think maybe I think maybe I'm thinking about it too hard when it's like, okay, well they showed they showed Asuka's plug landed out by yeah. Kensuke's place. They showed all the Ville pods mm-hmm. land down by the pen pens, yeah. like in the village. So does that world go on where like the village is that, still there and they have their memories? That was my question. That's still my question with this being over is we saw them all go there, but, and so I'm thinking like, so is that that world and then Shinji went to a new one? Or do they but, merge? But watching this, like I said, there's the part where he's sitting on the beach and then it all becomes sketch yeah. and then becomes good animation again. And that makes me think in that moment, maybe that's when it was all rewritten like yo evangelion is not a, even a thing that ever existed here right everyone's leading a successful life without that maybe that's what happens there you know and and you know, the end i guess that's what i don't really yeah it rebuilt i think that might be yeah might be what happened anyway yeah i want sean's thoughts yeah enough i know I, I have other things i could you know go on about yeah it's I basically know. did he like it or not okay well, guys, here we go. All right, before you I get into one it, though, snack I, no, that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy the last three hours? Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be a monologue. Yeah. And I'm, and yeah, I'm not prepared. It. Not prepared for this monologue. So I'm just gonna speak from the heart, and maybe yeah. it makes sense. Maybe Shoot it from doesn't. the hip. You know, I'm just gonna I say my zoom thoughts. On you. I have had a terrible relationship with Evangelion, as we know. It, you know, when, I mean, we've gone into it a billion times. Rock was apologized a billion times. Like, I'm not looking for anything else. But when I watched it the first time, I watched it for Rocco. Um, I felt at that point in my life, and I'm going to get real here, that Rocco and I were drifting apart a little bit. And I sense that in just a way of like our life, I and mean, we were still doing Make 64 and being friends, but it, things were changing, I thought, f- for our friendship. And I, I don't know why I felt that way. I just did. Maybe I was annoying. I don't know. I felt weird about it. So I watched this show to maybe like, oh, you know, I'll reconnect over, look, over this thing. This will be our thing. And then obviously it didn't go well, as we know. <laughs> um, and I felt like fuck, like I like I went into this feeling like I just hope I don't look stupid. And then that's what it ended up being is I looked stupid. And that's why I was so upset back then, back in those times. And then, you know, clearly hated Ava to the point where it was funny. You know, like why would anyone hate one thing so much? And I think really what it was was just like I just felt dumb. Like for movie club I picked Citizen Kane and I'm almost, I was scared to watch it. Cause like, if I don't get it, am I dumb? This is like <laughs> AFI's number one movie. Like, and if I don't understand this movie, like, does that make me stupid? Like, you know, like it's just those thoughts of like, I don't know. Like what, what, what is this? And then we did Ava in five minutes, which was like, God, you, they, they had to drag me kicking and screaming to do this <laughs> thing. And to be Shinji, I, Truly, the last thing I ever wanted to do was this to revisit this thing that made me feel so bad. And not only does the content, like the, the show itself, makes you feel bad. Yeah. But there was another level on top of it that made me feel worse. And I just, it, it just, to me, it just encapsulated a bad time. Everything about this was a bad time. And so we did this thing and we did it during COVID. And it's this like really heavy time everyone's feeling scared and down and we're coming in to do this thing and then i mean i was i'm truly like i was we were filming 
Ava and I'm scared. Like I'm like for like my health, like I'm just scared. Mm. And like I'm I'm laying in like the unit two costume in the park and I'm still wearing my mask inside this fucking helmet and there's all this shit. Cause I'm still just like, I don't know oh, yeah, what I remember that. I'm wearing the morph suit and then the helmet, but my mask is still on. Cause I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, am I going to infect my family? I'm scared. And so we did the video and then we had that one big film shoot with everyone here. And it was like the first time I felt like good. I was still scared that we were doing it and we were around people, but I felt like a ray of light almost like I'm like, seen my friends I haven't seen in a long time and we're doing this thing and we're working together in a creative way. Like before it was just the six of us every day doing this thing, but it was like we brought people in for the first time and we filmed it. And I just felt like we were all having fun. I, I kind of felt good about it. And the video came out and I think that the reception was pretty, it was great. You know, like people really enjoyed it. And then end of Ava was kind of like the same, but we filmed at the same time. So I don't know why I'm saying all this. I'm just saying it. But no, good. What, so did it warm? I mean, like, did you warm up to well, Ava here's the having thing. This done is, that? This is why I'm bringing this up, is I think all these things had to happen in this way for me to get this opinion of this movie, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. we had to get to all these places. Because before, if I would just watch this movie from, like, let's say back, like, I don't know. Back when I watched End of Ava, we did that podcast. I felt bad about it, and I watched this movie. Like, yeah. I don't know if I would have the same opinion on this movie as I do now. Sure. Like, I had to go through all these experiences to get to this opinion of this movie. And I'm watching this movie. Let me say, first off, the animation. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Like, truly, like, awe-inspiring. Like, it's, it's fucking awesome. Like, incredible. I think I'm watching it, and... I almost feel like, dude, maybe I am fucking Shenji. Like, maybe that's who I am. A person who's always <laughs> stressed out and sad. Like, maybe that's me. And maybe, like... And, I, and I'm the fucker with glasses standing on the upper thing going, uh, this next part of the show is this. Right. We're going to film uh, you naked in the thing. Yeah. And you're standing there going, no. Yeah, no. Oh. And I'm please, the fucking penguin. Please yeah. fucking don't do this to me. <laughs> and so... I think I'm looking at this movie and like this movie has what I ever, all I ever wanted was this from this fucking misery of a show and end of Ava of like, yeah, there's some fucking light in this world. There's something to, yeah. there's some good. And I feel like that's what I really needed to like now, like when it gets to like the mythology, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Truly. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just don't care. About like, just oh, cool this could looking. be this and this. And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah sure. It could be. Yeah. I'm never going to go into it that way. That's not how yeah. I'm looking at it. I'm just going to watch this and then look at it. And then I'm not going to dissect it. I'm not going to do any of that. But I'm watching this ending. And I do feel what that guy, Ano, was feeling. Like, I feel like free almost of this like feeling that I had when I watched those other ones. I didn't feel good watching those. And I, I felt good watching this with you guys. Oh, like, that's I cool. did. I felt it was nice. And like, I'm just thinking about it overall. And it's like, is this my favorite movie? No, but I recognize like this was, this movie needed to be made because the yeah. way it ended was such a fucking bummer. And like, you needed this. And yeah. so I think I'm going to, fuck, this is going to kill me to say. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> I think just given my experience with Ava and where it's taking me to this point, I'm going to give it four shakers. Wow. wow. Four, four popcorn, shakers? popcorn shakers. I would never have guessed I would have said that. Out of how many? Out of five. Out, out of five. five. That's a fucking, that's, he liked it. Yeah, he, he liked uh, this more than 400 blows. That's four popcorn oh, yeah. shakers. <laughs> that will work. So there you, you go. Know. I don't know who won some money or bits or whatever it is. That it Chat is, is going nuts. You know, he liked it, Rocco. Sean. Yes. <laughs> Sean. I can't believe you've come around. I got choked up while you're now. Here's okay. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Rocco. Oh no, you, you, no, no, no. Go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, you know, the reason why I think I stuck to the show and was so connected to it when I originally saw it was I saw myself in some of its loneliness and, and it was something that was reliable and I could watch it again and again 
and look for something deeper instead of finding something deeper with other people. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you feel alone like that, um, you fortify those things that work instead of building deeper connections. And that becomes your identity. Mm-hmm. And when someone questions that identity, you cast them off, you make fun of them. Yeah. And I'm saying now that this movie showed me the value of communication mm-hmm. and the value of communication with you. And I realized my error. And I'm sorry. Oh, oh. this is the resolution we needed, Johny. I'm good. I crying. was there, there that go, day guys. too, Sean, <laughs> and I was cackling. Oh, yeah, you can I'll get a hug too. Okay, you can get I'm a hug I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was part of that. I ganged up. Yeah. And I regret it because I, I, I ruined you on well, the thing that I love the most. And I know that that was no one's intention. And it, hey, I know. truly, let's go back to it. It was funny. It's it funny. Was, it's, oh, funny. It's, funny. it's funny. It's funny. But here we go. You I know, was waiting for it to happen. I just in this think. Film too. I just think watching this now, like it, like this is where it. I don't know. I just feel good about it. I feel good about it, and I feel good that I had to go through all these experiences to get to this point. Like it. For some reason, I don't know what it was in the universe that made this anime. Like I had to struggle with it so hard, and that makes me think maybe I am the Shinji here, where it's just like I had to go through all of this to to like this movie, but I did like it. So what a journey! What a you journey. guys! What a journey! What a journey! I have officially stepped off the train, so now Sean is left on the train, and Gendo's or I'm sorry, and Karu or whatever Garrett is going to ask. It's me. What Sean, you know, wants to do now, and yeah. how will he rewrite rewrite the world? And I think, I think I already know how Sean wants to rewrite this world. The next hour of this stream is going to be exclusively Padres talk. Yeah, Go ahead. get ready. Right. Well, <laughs> Sean rewrites the world. No more anime. Only San Diego baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Major and minor. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's that animation. It's like when the la- when the final Ava appears at the beach. It's just the uh, the padre the the friar the friar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just there. The ocean. <laughs> Thank you, Tony Gwynn. Yeah. There we go. Oh. No, uh, Did, didn't somebody do a, get a cameo for you? Just yeah, recently? yeah, I got it. That was one of the Padres, right? Yeah, Mark Melance in the closer. Yeah. That's the new Trevor Hoffman, essentially. That's oh, a, that, that's nice. that position. That was cool. It I was, was like cool. blown away by that. It was anyway. cool, and it's also I enjoyed it because he's clearly sad because oh well the Padres are struggling oh. right now, but we've been doing so good. They not in the last uh, few games we've been <sighs> real bad. And uh, you could tell that he's like bummed out, and I appreciated that. So um, thank you for getting that cameo for me. And uh, he's about to get on the plane after this got swept by the Rockies. Like <laughs> it's not a good place he's to like, be, dude. He's I'm like, on the tarmac. And I, I gotta, I gotta do get cameos. the f- okay. Well, I got a cameo. I can't believe it. I gotta do this. So, <laughs> so we did it. But um, oh, but yeah, man. you'll be pitching, you know, on his mound one day. Well, hopefully, that, fingers YouTube? across. You know, on the field together. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna cry today. You know what, Johnny? Sometimes you gotta. It, let it, it helps, out. dude. Eva makes cry. you know the tear ducts flow. You gotta just let it out. Yeah, you gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. I well, a, oh, sorry. Oh, I was go gonna go say ahead. I have a photo of you, Sean, in that moment you were talking about when you were like, like yeah, I have that photo of you. You yeah. too. In the sun. <laughs> I'm in the sun, <laughs> and I, you know, I was scared. I was so scared, but um. I think that really got me through a lot of the COVID stuff was we finally were getting together and working sure. and yeah. it was working on my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. With, with all my friends <laughs> and like, yeah, it was, it's really strange for me. Cause like I started working here and then got like thrown into like going on tour with you guys. And that, mm-hmm. I feel like I got really close to you guys and then COVID happened and I was really scared. And then filming that stuff made me feel even closer to you guys. And mm-hmm. I just feel like, like thank you for yeah giant i want to get emotional thank now you. too so <laughs> I just to say, uh no uh, i'm no i mean <laughs> i i do think that that video like saved all of us in different yeah. ways but it did like it was so hard it was truly the hardest thing we've ever filmed like ano's you know very public struggles with finishing this film yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, we, you know, had our own little struggles and meltdowns and, yeah, it was hard. It was hard to finish that work. Yeah. But it it always, the good stuff is hard to finish and hard to, 
Yeah. And you know. so we did it. So watch that video. Yeah, check again. That out. Check it yeah, out. Let's end, out. Let's end that on this. Watch That's that. Watch both next. of them. Yeah, watch our And then if you want to see, I Let's truly keep the sometimes going. like keep the loop I, going. I watch the videos that we do sometimes, but the behind the scenes is what I really I do like. Those them. are the ones like you know it's funny we make those, but I have nothing. I have nothing to do with that. Like Rocco makes that. That that is like I don't even usually see it until it's on. And YouTube. it's like Kevin like, and Johnny filmed it all. Already thousands yeah. of people have seen it before I've seen it, and I love that actually because it's like I forget the moments because you just you're too busy making it. You don't think about the. Or things I'm that not you're paying doing. attention to someone with a camera. You know. Yeah. Kev's yeah, always yeah, rolling. You don't know. Johnny's always rolling. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, watch those videos, yeah, and then see you know the journey we went on. I th- I think when I think when years go by and t- we look back, Evangelion is going to be the summation of this time <laughs> in our yeah, lives it, because definitely. of that video, and then and, and kind of this, this movie, movie is almost kind of like a transition into another. I agree. <laughs> I love the message. I really did feel after the first like time. I, I think I watched it that night, and then again in the morning, and then I really. Like like Johnny talked about, I didn't get emotional the first time. I got emotional the second time yeah. when I t- kind of quit trying to read everything and understand everything and just enjoyed. Okay. Uh, I, but I, I really had this feeling where like I'm relieved. Good <laughs> yeah. goodbye, yeah. Evangelion. That was the I, text you sent me after it came out. You're like, I'm. I think I, I'm relieved. I said wow. like wow. I said like <laughs> melancholy at first, and I said no, it's not quite the word. I feel relieved. Yeah. That mm. it's over, and I almost <laughs> yeah. like I'm curious about that. 16 years, and if they do a show, Kara does another show. But I'm almost very like, don't like, yeah, say yeah. goodbye to all, yeah, of Evangelion. <laughs> yeah, I think the lesson we learned here is what Gendo did, and it really was you got to be a dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's I mean, yeah, that, that actually, <laughs> it's so funny. We played Resident Evil Eight, and that was yeah. the theme of the game was got to be a dad. In this case, the problem was Evangelion wasn't. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't the theme. No one's being a dad. And at the end, it was the answer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, you do got to be a dad. Or else. I, 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 you know, and I did give it a four. And I'll stick by that. But a lot of butts. We didn't need, you know. That's an anime, so though, many, dude. Yeah, fan and service. that's, you know, you know. You but to have some fan A lot service. of butts. A lot of butts. Johnny's smiling. Yeah. <laughs> John, you know, that I was, I that was Johnny. Not, that was for Johnny. I think that's not really, <laughs> if I'm being real, fair to say. Okay. Because there were a lot of boobs, too. Yeah. <laughs> fair so enough i just want to keep it yeah you know. give it all respect mm-hmm. yeah fair enough anyway well i think uh this was this is fun this is a lot funner than i thought it was going to be I, I, we i'm so, so happy to hear that because part yeah. of me when i finished the movie i'm like he might not be miserable when that mm-hmm. ends. he might not be there's a fighting chance yeah so i'm happy to hear well, it. what I, was what spoke to you the most like like fight scenes or that slice of life kind of no, like village was, i think segment at first, I didn't like that segment, but then, but I get like what's you're finding. I just didn't know where we were because I haven't seen the other ones, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. And so, like, it, I, I, the, I mean, the fight scenes. I don't even care about the fight scenes. Like, they look mm-hmm. really cool, but like, I don't. The character and, development. Is yeah, it was just it. to see like finally something good happen. Like all this stuff was so visually impressive, but like it was just nice to see it led somewhere where it's like okay, yeah. like. It's okay. It's yeah. it, it's closure exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I just I hated that with the other one. It yeah. was just a nonstop misery, and then it ended as a misery. And it's like, yo, this isn't for me. Like I just need something. So it just it's nice to see that it all led up to finally something positive. Symbolic <laughs> that like it's you know Sean was at a point in his life l- way later than when we did, were watching End of Ava and falling in love with it. Rocco, mm-hmm. he was already matured to the point of you know shinji where it's like what is this melancholy bullshit <laughs> you yeah. rejected instrumentality <laughs> you I'm are rejected. shinji i i think i may be i and think i liked, may be you liked how ano wrapped this i do I, I think yeah it was nice will i watch it again ever probably not <laughs> but, or, but, but i think now with this perspective you really got to give that original <laughs> show another one point i don't think i will just I, watch rebuilds. Now. I think this is my this is me saying goodbye to Evangelion forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, Sean really was Shinji. Goodbye to uh, I all think of Evangelion. I am I am now going into the real world. That's good. And I'm going to look at the city in a new eyes, but it's going to be no more of Evangelion for me. There we go. There it is. Good goodbye way to, end to all it. of Evangelion. But we should do streams yeah. like this again. I oh, think yeah. this is a good stream. This all right. is a lot of fun. This was a great warm up. <laughs> It's only seven o'clock. Yeah. 
and all of Mr. Bean is on Amazon. <laughs> oh, all of it? Johnny, Whoa. Right, hit so. it. Load it up, baby. Does it have to be call? Amazon Prime for it to work on this? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If, as long as everyone has Amazon Prime right. and they're lo- and it's connected to their Twitch account, yeah. they can watch. I'm just saying, like, there's things on Amazon that aren't Prime that you could like pay for. Or oh whatever, no, but, like, no, no, that no, won't no, work. No, it has, it has to, be to be under the, the paid subscription. The pr- okay, understood. Yeah. Okay. Like, All right. Watch something on this next. Account, this next one. Uh, yeah. Okay. I need both of you guys shut up. <laughs> this next one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mr. Bean. Tr- uh, he goes for a dive in a pool. And and let's just say the trunks don't exactly stay on. Let's say there's not water in the pool. Does he talk in any of these movies? Or I haven't actually seen a bean. You never seen a bean flick? Oh, no. he said he says, you know, woo, you know. He well, you'll see. Annoys... I don't even want to spoil it. Okay, well, this oh, the... next one. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna do the one where he has to weigh a turkey. <laughs> okay, Johnny, and... load that up. Here we go. No. We're waiting. We're waiting. 